Let me see if I can roll right into this. This is too much, y'all. The clips I got for you. Whoa, what are they thinking? What are they thinking? What what in the world happened? I took a day off. Hey, True Crime Dime. Hey, good to see you. Missed you guys. Vila, Katie, our top, of course. Hey, Lori, good to have you. BGF, Diamond Cutter, Cody. Hey, y'all, man, good to see you guys. I wanted to go live so freaking bad and talk to all you guys. You don't even know. You don't even know how bad. Like, it was driving me crazy. It's why I'm so early today. I just, uh couldn't help myself <laughs> I just can't believe what's happened I'm gonna try to explain it to you in a short form very short form and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna show you proof of everything that I, I would that I have for you but the crazy thing about this y'all I mean it's over for the trash PMs they basically come out to admit it all they've admitted everything <laughs> They're admitting it all. They've laid it all out on the table. Hold on, I gotta put a shirt on. Like Hogwarts or something, I'm just gonna... I probably won't even use it. Probably won't even end up using it. Uh, this is kind of me rushing in, if you haven't noticed. I'm definitely rushing in. So... Huh. I can't even believe I'm out of bed. You know, I, I've got the ultrasound Thursday, just to keep you guys updated that want to know. Um, and they should be able to prescribe me a medication or something to help out with my back. I don't take any type of painkiller, though. So I don't know what, maybe some steroids. You know what I'm saying? Because I have inflammation. It's there. And it's been knocking me down. Though I'm here. I've rested up. I've made, I've used this, uh... I yeah, got from the VA in the mail a heating pad that's got a trigger. You hold it in your hand and you put it in bed and you pull the trigger and it heats up really fast. And you, you take it and get it up to where it's about as hot as you can take it and you let go of the trigger. And then you do it again after it cools down and you just do that for a good 20 minutes for every treatment. And that's what's brought me here to stream on top of some CBD water. <laughs> this really nice drink that's called CBD water. Okay. Here's the first clip for you. We're moving right in. I have no you idea how, how do you even say this out loud? Like these are things that you don't admit to people. You don't admit this. Here you go. Listen to this. You be in prison for your charges. Okay. Robbery, manufacturing of drugs. That's not even true. Those weren't on there. <laughs> drugs and alcohol to children. No, that wasn't on Queen B's record. I uh, just so you guys know, we have fact checked their claims against Queen B. We went ahead and uh, took the initiative to fact check their claims against Queen B. We know what happened. You know what, Queen B, I consider a, a, a friend, somebody I get along with, somebody I really like. I would never want to argue with her. I'll tell you the one thing that happened with Queen B. Okay, other than some traffic charges. Wait, hey, Cherie, thank you very much. Appreciate you. But what happened with Queen B? Please like, please share. PayPal.me forward slash Unirock money sign Unirock on Cash App. I'll do all that later, okay? But, you know, I'm going to get myself ahead. I'm going to get ahead of myself. I, I'm always getting my... Thanks, Victory. I'm going to get myself ahead of myself. Okay. With Queen B, the thing she actually did was when she was younger, she was working, selling alcohol or cigarettes or something in, in some, some type of convenience, right? A store that you go into that has alcohol and she didn't card somebody and got in trouble. It wasn't manufacturing or selling. So everything you hear come out of his mouth that doesn't express 
this kind of mistake that a lot of people that are in that industry make just because they're not paying attention, right? Just hey, thank you. That's right. They wrecked themselves. Who is that? Tina, I they had you won't look 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 look. Listen to this. Listen to what he admits. And you can believe everybody. You know what the people you mess with, lady, that they're pulling up. They're doing the Freedom of Information Act. They pull Whoa, thank you for admitting this, sir. Pulling up every file. They're gonna pull up every court document, everything that was said, everything that you've done. Thank you for admitting this, sir. Everything. Really? You did that to yourself. No, actually, she didn't. She laughed at you. If you're so thin-skinned that you put yourself on the internet and you make mistakes, you do dumb things that would get anyone to be laughed at and ridiculed by the entire internet as opposed uh, to... Uh, being looked at in a positive light or in a positive way and you become a locale because of your own bad behavior and then your thin your thin thin skin i could say thin 50 times the thinnest skin that exists you have someone dunk on you and laugh on you because we've checked this we have went in and actually checked what happened here it's another reason why I didn't stream yesterday. I wanted to watch this unfold without putting myself into the exact middle of everything. Now, you know, just to be upfront, I did appear on Queen Bee's panel for a good 10 minutes just to ask what was going on two days ago. So I'm being fair to both sides. Queen Bee did her normal panel. The same panel she's done talking about stuff I've done, right? In fact, just today, they were talking about how I had talked about Betty having children taken out of her home due to Betty, as Betty described it, smacking the kids up the butt. Okay? That's what Betty always used to say this. The day that Betty stopped saying, smack up the butt, it was this thing she always said, I don't know why, don't ask me, I'm just the news broadcaster, okay? I'm just the news guy, don't ask me why the news happens. I just tell you what happened, okay? I'm just the news guy here. Play play the play the news. I'm just the news guy, all right? So I you know, okay, I won't do the we're going to do the news thing when I put my shirt on. I can't do the news thing without a shirt. It just I look ridiculous right now. Um but the thing is, when you just get criticized and because somebody criticizes you and laughs at you, and you get dunked on. You get embarrassed because they were on point. They weren't only funny, comical, but they also were right. They called you out for doing something wrong. And because you can't respond, it's not like you can respond and laugh back, make fun back, or do any type of actual rebuttal. You decide to go out and, and fully dox Queen Beat as hard as you can. And when, you, when that didn't work... Y'all made a bunch of stuff up and faked a bunch of stuff to try to convince people that she was doing all of these things that she didn't do. And the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my... This is about as dumb... Remember, remember during the Letitia Fraud Razor? And they decided one night when they had so many refund requests that they were worried about their money being taken that they went live... And they siphoned the money out of the bank account. And I said that it's one of the dumbest clips I've ever seen. Because it's them going... They should have done it without going live. If you're going to do this very specific part of this, like, stealing this money, well, you're not going to want to broadcast it to the entire world. If you're going to go in and dox the living hell out of this person, you're not going to want to admit it on a stream. But they think, and this is the funny part, that they didn't dox anybody. Really? Well, the good news is I've got the terms of service, and I actually have the definition of doxing, and we'll figure out who dox who, but let's let him talk. You did it to yourself because you got up there talking shit instead of... <laughs> I've been on this platform for a long time. I've done this live stream for almost nine years, okay? This is by far one of the most ridiculous coping section sessions I've ever seen. I know that... But uh, so this dude saying, um, yes, me and my friends literally obsessively cyber stalked you over a period of days and weeks. And we looked up everything we could. 
If we were wrong about you, we cyberstalked the hell out of the innocent victim until we could get closer to you. And now we're trying to cyberstalk the hell out of you. And I am such a crybaby that it's your fault that you criticize. He doesn't even say, he doesn't even lie about what Queen B did. He's admitting Queen B criticized, then admitting what they did. Hold on. Let's hear that last part again. Well, you did it to yourself because you got up there talking shit instead of staying in your own lane. Because you got up there and talked about me and my friends, says this, I don't know what to call him, hillbilly, I don't know. Um, because you talked about me and my friends, and she not only talked about you, she dunked on you, she laughed at you, she made fun of you in such an expert kind of comedy kind of way that it entertained over a thousand people watching, and we know that's why you flipped out. Though, to admit that that's why you guys went on this crazy dox doxing session. Thank you for this clip, dude. Wow, you guys give us everything. You just deliver it into our hands. Right? Instead of staying in your own lane. What does that even mean? Is what, if, if somebody can't criticize you based on what you publicly broadcast on this platform, then how is it that you have a right to do anything that you do? It doesn't make sense because you're coping, because you got busted. You got busted doxing, then you got further busted, then Betty went live to try to make excuses for why she did it and ended up busting herself even worse, and then you decided you were going to get up there and fix the problem and admitted to everything. You admitted to the entire thing. It's so just chef's kiss cringe. I love it so much. You couldn't. You had to veer into everybody else's lane. Your lane? Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. King of the World. Oh, no. If we bring up what you're doing publicly on YouTube, somehow we have veered into your wondrous lane, sir. Right. All right. Well, now everybody's in your lane. Everybody's in your lane. Oh, trust me. We don't care. You all are empty threat. Lying keyboard warriors. You're welcome in our lane. We don't do what you do, big boy. We don't sit and restrict our lane. Our lane isn't one way. It's wide open. The highway is as wide as it needs to be. We welcome everybody over here. Welcome to our lane. And your lane is a bad lane to be in. I oh, no. Queen Bee's lane is the best lane to be in. Hey. It's a bad lane to be in. Oh, I can make that into a country song. Ready? It's a bad lane to be in. My dog got ran over. I want a cheeseburger. <laughs> Give me another cheeseburger. I need some whiskey with my truck in my lane. Don't get in my lane. Don't get in my lane. Now the backup singers. Don't get in his lane. Don't get in his lane. He's a country king. Get out of his lane. Oh my God, bro. Seriously. <laughs>
give me that uni rock's not allowed to have a southern accent stuff everybody in my family talks with a southern accent okay all my everybody in my family talks with a hillbilly twang okay so don't even give it to, I, i'm i'm good at that shit y'all i'm like the only one in my family that doesn't talk with that hillbilly ass twang <laughs> i think i've trained myself through all this live streaming not to have that twang to my voice um so and and rachel's supposed to be bringing me a streaming shirt so this is just temporary we can't we did all the laundry and now we can't find my streaming shirts um i mean what do i have to say here other than i am summoning navy i i don't know what i gotta do i don't i don't know what i gotta play i know what it is if you guys can give me some um cowboy emojis <laughs> give me some kind of cowboy emoji i bet it'll get navy in here i bet it'll summon navy yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Um, <laughs> thank you, little bit. Uh, I don't know what to say here, guys. Not only did this man admit to doxing Queen B, um, he made sure in the clip to be as specific as possible that he was going to cyber stalk you to hell and back. Now, this is what these people do. They try to pretend like the docs is something other than what they're doing, okay? And I know that sounds like a, a very general statement, but give me a minute, and I'm not going to get into the boring thing I do, but listen, the docs is where if you have to look something up on a person that you're covering, okay, the intent for why you're looking that stuff up is what matters to doxing number one the intent and number two how private the information is so if they wanted to take that lady that was on the news and the claim that it was queen b okay they could take that clip to their channel they could play the clip if the name if she said her name in the clip they could talk about her name right because it's public on the news there they could make the claim that they think it's Queen B. Would that be a dox? Would that be a dox? Is it a dox if you take the clip, the news clip, and you try to go to your channel and say that it's Queen B? In my opinion, yes, it is if Queen B is anonymous. So the dox is the act of unveiling this news clip as Queen B. That's the first part of the dox. To go a step further, if they decide to take information from that news clip and search further into the internet to find things on her, and they find her address, they find her name, it could be a past address, it could not, they maybe get a phone number, they get a Facebook, and it has some posts, and they talk about the posts. Where's the docs there? Well, the docs is when you decided to search the name of this person with this malicious intent to try and harass or to try and make fun of or to try and unveil them in that kind of negative way. Now, if Queen B accidentally posted something, like if her account's private and she accidentally posts her picture and you want to commentate on that happening, fine, it's not a dox. Make fun of her, laugh and joke about it. I'm not going to call it a dox. When you then take the information and pursue it further... With an ill intent, you are doxing her. And when you take information you've gained from doxing her and publish it, you are doxing her even more. Okay? That is in comparison to if you had to, let's say that I needed to commentate on a video and I decide, a live stream or an upload, and I decide to use that news clip. Did I just dox Queen B? No, because I didn't tell you it was Queen B. Right? That's the point here. So they doxed Queen B. It's a fact. They doxed Queen B in the general YouTube sense. Does the general YouTube sense of doxing get you banned every time? No, it doesn't. But, but do you know what will get you banned every time? And I mean every time Team YouTube actually investigates the doxing. Whether or not people take what they've done in these clips to Team YouTube, tag Team YouTube, and get them to look into this, I don't know if that's going to happen. But if Team YouTube does look, just like with Molly getting her strikes, I also have a rumor that Bullhorn Betty uh, got a strike. 
recently. I got a rumor for that too. But the point is, the docs is actually, let's say, pursuing the private information, pursuing the record, grabbing all of this stuff in the way that they've done it. What's the point? That's, that's what I would hope you'd look at when determining whether it's a dox or not. What's the point? Why did they do it? Is this some true crime documentary? Because I know they use the hashtag true crime on doing this. Um, is this some point for some true crime documentary? Is it to make some point that uh, are they doing a greater study on people that have been busted selling alcohol to minors at a convenience store? Therefore, they need to give this information out. Follow me. No, none of these things are valid. None of these things apply here. It's not true crime. It's not to do an investigation. It's not to do a greater video. So what is their intent? It's the hardest thing to figure out when you have a dox because they always, once YouTube gets involved, the doxy, the doxer, I'm sorry, the doxer will always use the point that, um, oh, Nick, give me a minute, man. I'll, I'll, you can hang in here, but just give me a minute so that uh, I'll, uh, I'll unmute when uh, I'm ready to have you in. Um, the point is the doc, sir, the intent of it is the hardest thing to prove. If Team YouTube comes in and they decide to look and start investigating this, they're going to come back. They're going to say, no, 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 I didn't dox them maliciously. And, of course, Team YouTube's going to look at, at everything else that happened, and it's, it definitely will get people off of the hook when it comes to doxing a lot of times. That's why this clip is so important. This clip is so important because as, you, as you've seen, he not only tells you that they've done this to the most maximum degree, Jingles, thank you, not only have they done this in the most maximum degree, they didn't, they didn't go look up stuff on Queen B because Queen B is uh, accused of lying on a, on some uh, lying about doing this and they need to go and prove these things. No, they didn't do that. They did it to shame Queen Bee. They did it to try to attack Queen Bee. They thought that if they could reveal something about Queen Bee that would get her to, you know, flinch, they might be able to get her to go away or in the very least maybe stop talking about them. The thing is, this clip answers every specific question. To why they doxed Queen B. So let's go through the clip really quick and I will let you know what information the, the country King Hillbilly delivered to us. Um, does he have a country band? I, I would say that it's almost impossible that he doesn't own an acoustic guitar that he barely knows how to play, but he thinks he's the best acoustic guitar player that's ever existed. That has to be true. He grabs the acoustic guitar and he starts strumming it and he's he's hearing the most beautiful song and it's just prang prang tang tang pang pang and that's why you know when he gets going oh stay in your lane stay in your lane don't come in my lane or I'll dox the hell out of Queen Bee Let's see what he has to say You should be in prison for your charges okay Well I have a lot to say uh, about just that, but I'm going to let that go. <laughs> so let's, cause I have a lot to say there about a true crime YouTuber stating that, um, you just said they were charges. So if she did it and isn't innocent of these things, didn't she go to prison for them? You said that there is so much I can say from just those words, but what those words admit to us, and this is what idiots who try to pretend to be youtubers always do they end up slipping up he's already revealed his hand they don't even know which charges are queen bees which are true which are not which have been thrown out which are which she is innocent of like with the mal thing where they're trying to say that mal went to prison and jail for grand theft auto but it was thrown out Therefore, Mao's innocent. So what's your point? Oh, there is no point. We just wanted to say that to shame Mao. You know, okay, yeah, you doxed Mao. We know. This is the point that I've been making about this group of people since I stumbled upon them at the beginning of that fraud raiser is that they are abhorrent doxers. It's what they do. But here we go. Let's get into this. Robbery, manufacturing of drugs, drugs and alcohol to children. So you said that she was charged 
with these things. They came out, the D, now I know you have no clue how a guitar works. You have no clue what it's like to own an old dog that'll chase your truck out of the driveway when you leave, right? Uh, you, you have no clue what it's like to beat your wife after drinking a ton of whiskey on a Friday night when she opens her mouth and tries to give her opinion on something which women aren't supposed to do in the country, right? You know nothing about these things, but you seem to be an expert on charges. You see, if you have a charge, the thing that the DA does is press those charges against you, big guy. And you're either innocent or you're guilty. And that's what that record's to show. The record will say, are you guilty of doing this? Are you innocent of this? So which is it, my dude? Because if you're saying she should be in prison, you're basically admitting that she didn't get fully charged they didn't take her to court they dropped the charges well we know that that's not queen b for the majority of what you showed but still you'd at least think with your expertise on changing the back right tire of a 1963 ford bronco you would know about this but go ahead and you can believe everybody you know what the people you mess with lady that they're pulling up they're doing the freedom information act they're pulling up every file they're gonna Okay, so this is what's really important, okay? So he's going to give us what they do, and then he's going to tell us why. I know that he doesn't understand the who, what, where, when, and why if it's beyond taking the five bluegill that you pulled out of a tiny little pond down, down uh, off of the, uh, off the corner of 5th Street when you go out the road and turn left on the dirt road and go out past the gravel, okay? And, and you put them in the frying pan and you just, you know, pour a little bit of grease in there, turn it up to nine, come back about 20 minutes later and you eat your charred fish like a, like a caveman would because you're that much of a hillbilly. But either way, you're going to give us the who, what, where, when, and why. Okay, keep going. Pull up every court document, everything that was said, everything that you've done. But you didn't. You didn't even do to any extent what you've claimed to do because what you did was realize that Queen B had a bunch of traffic charges and had one thing on her record, like one thing or something, like very minimal. Nothing like you're describing is my point. My point is you've got this manufacturing, selling to kids, murder of 92 people, you know, she ended up breaking into Fort Knox and stealing all the gold bars, all of them. Like, Queen B is the guy that jumped out of the plane, D.B. Cooper, that got off with like a million dollars. Queen B did it all, according to your records. But in reality, all that Queen B did was 30 years ago, when she worked at a convenience store, get in trouble for not checking an ID. Okay? Completely different. So you didn't even do what it is. That, now, I know that makes sense when you're talking about... Oh God, I'm, I'm going to miss this one. I'm going to miss this one. Uh, I know this makes sense for you when you're talking about the end of the ratchet thingy at the gun that you used to, ch to take the bolts off of your 1940. Okay, I was going to talk about the vroom, 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 when they're changing your tires, and I completely messed the joke up, so let's keep going. Everything. You did that to yourself. You did it to yourself. So what this genius, this highest IQ individual that's ever existed on the planet is trying to tell us all, when he isn't chasing his brother's cousin's fourth husband wives uh, of his 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 uncle daddy when he's not chasing his uncle daddy out of his girlfriend's bed on the weekend he's trying to hold on i messed that one up i can hold on give me to one yourself. more chance you did it to yourself like when yes exactly like when just like when you're trying to chase your uncle daddy out of your girlfriend's bed on the weekend when all of you got too drunk and he's making your next third brother's cousin son of your your son that ends up being your nephew yes uh just like that yes because you got up there talking shit instead of staying in your own lane so he says it all if you ignore all of the country jokes that I've been making. And by the way, my family's country, I'm allowed to joke about it. Um, <laughs> oh man, I, I, I'm trying to do this bit and I keep distracting myself. I swear I wrote, the, when I wrote this bit, it was 20 times better than how it's coming out, guys. It's my back has been aching, so it's getting me off my game a little, but I'm almost there. This bit was way better when I practiced it earlier in the mirror. <laughs> um, but he gives us everything. 
not only are we going to completely dig on every single detail about your life, which is the definition of cyber stalking, something that Betty and JLR have not only been accused of many times, but JLR, and that's something we're going to talk about today in this stream again, JLR has violated his probation while doing these things in the past. In fact, while JLR was, and this is one of your friends, this is way different than Jimmy, Bob, Lee, Stewart, Rick, George, Bobby's, way different than, than Jimmy, John, George, Rick, Lee, Bobby's car race that he's having in his driveway with those tiny little like micro machine cars that you guys play with way different than that okay i messed up again damn it, damn right, it i'm so close staying in your own lane yes trying to stay in your own lane unlike when you're racing vroom, vroom, come on jimmy john lee bobby deuce is saying five <laughs> okay i can't do it <laughs> <laughs> if only that joke would have landed it would have been the best one <laughs> damn it <laughs> you had to veer into everybody else's lane you had to veer into everybody else's lane like when I'm down at the NASCAR race right after dad keeps kissing mom cousin's lips. Damn it. Stop kissing mom cousin while we're at the NASCAR race, dad uncle. Right. All right. Well, now everybody's in your lane. I'm not, I'm not allowed to laugh at my own jokes. I'm going to get in trouble after this. Damn it. Hold on. I'm not supposed to laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> oh, that was too fucking good. <laughs> like when you're down at the NASCAR race. Damn it, dad, uncle. Stop kissing mom niece's lips while we're watching Dale Earnhardt Jr. Everybody's in your lane. And your lane is a bad lane to me. <laughs> All right. It's real bad. Like when I forget all the, I had like six NASCAR guys on my screen and I tried to memorize them and I've lost them. It's like when that famous NASCAR driver rounded the 53rd right turn and got confused and did a left. It's a bad lane to be in. Dad, uncle. It's a bad lane to be in. It's a bad lane to be in, a bad lane to be in. Like when you take 57 rides, but you make a left at the NASCAR race. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I tried to do it twice. It, it, the second time was a little better. That's it. Woo! The point I'm making, people. <laughs> the point I'm making is. He's given us the intent of why he doxed Queen B. He's told us how far they went in the docks. Therefore, the, this clip alone confirms that JLR, Betty, and him at least. I mean, you got to say that. And you know what? I did a very controversial community post the other day when I found out about Molly's mother. Nick, I'm sorry, bro. You got to let me finish and then I'll bring you in, man. I got a bunch of shit written. So just give me a minute. I'll get you in here. <laughs> um, no, but I'm being serious about this. Uh, my community post, I meant it very much. We cannot be what these people are. And what they are are tragedy pimps. And that word carries with it the connotation that they have no respect or reverence for people who lose their lives, who have cancer, who are in a murder or are the victims of a very serious crime. And the idea behind being a tragedy pimp is using someone's pain while they're dealing with a kind of tragedy, which even just losing someone at the baseline is, a, is an enormous tragedy in someone's life. And it's thus why just in those moments, we give it a massive respect right? We respect that life by not doing what the tragedy pimps do. And therefore, that's why I'm, I'm very happy with my community and the way that they responded um, to Molly because everybody was sympathetic regardless that Molly has doxxed me 
and doxed several of you out there, if not many of you. She has stolen money from a thousand of you, if not more, that are in my audience. And you somehow managed to put aside any personal issue you had with this person and be respectful to the fact that their family's grieving and a very important member of their family. So kudos to all of you. And I noticed, I did notice that a lot of you were being extremely respectful. And I don't think I saw anybody doing the opposite because if they did, we would have to call it out. Tragedy pimping again is, is monetizing or, or find making a way to make money off of these kind of severe tragedies multiplied by the fact that they are not even just a loss. A lot of times they'll go at somebody because there's a murmur involved or some other very serious issue, right? So the next thing I want to say about that is, and I hope you understand why, that I do seriously mean what I said about being sympathetic toward Molly and what she's going through right now. And that's the only reason why I'm not going to mention her that much in this stream. Um, do I think that she um, could have assisted in this? I don't know. Um, normally I would, I would say probably I'm, but she's got, she's going through what I would guess is one of the, th this is probably one of the first times that she's dealt with something of this magnitude because a lot of times as, as teenagers, before we kind of mature, we do make jokes about people passing or we say disrespectful things or if we find out one of the people we don't like at our school lost somebody, we might say some stupid thing like good or something. It's just a horrible thing that you don't really mean because you're immature. When you do mature, when you do experience what it's like to lose someone, that's the thing that jogs you, pushes you into not making those mistakes in the future. So discussing just an offhanded statement is completely different from tragedy pimping. But I think that unless Molly is a complete sociopath, she will do a lot of reflecting here in the next few weeks. I hope it changes it opens her eyes and it changes her mind about why it is so many of us have stood up and said, no, we're not going to accept you guys doing what Dolly Vision just described and mixing it in with these stories which they've done nonstop. Only now when they're at their most desperate are they now targeting their criticizers, right? They'd love to be tragedy pimping right now, but they know YouTube's looking at them. They have to watch their content. And one of the worst things about a clickbaiter or a tragedy pimper, because every tragedy pimper is an expert clickbaiter, liar, manipulator. One of the things about those kind of people um, is the fact that they, um, when YouTube's looking at them, they can't do the content that makes the most money for them, right? So instead of being able to, to, to hardcore tragedy pimp right now, they're worried they might get a strike for it now that YouTube's peeping in. So they're going to come at their criticizers. But the thing is, you'll say, why did they go so far against Queen B then? And it's because they didn't mean to. It was very accidental, okay? Now, I'm going to put my shirt on, and I'm going to attempt to not take it off, and we're going to get into a few more clips. Then uh, then I'll be ready to have Nick or Navy or whoever wants to come in, come in. I'm sorry, guys. I just have some stuff written for today, and then we'll get into it. Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, my... my I'm, should I, I, I need to know in the chat. I need, while I'm putting my shirt on, I need a one in the chat. If you think I could have a, a, a really good chance to make it as a country singer, let me know in the chat. Put a one in the chat if I could make it as a country singer right now. I think I could, guys. I might drop every bit of my comedy and go straight for the country guitar. Negative one. <laughs> uh, listen, I love country music. I'm not putting down country music at all. I really do mean it. Um, <clears throat> one thing you guys might not know about me is that um, because lately, um, lately I haven't had time to do other content is that I do write music. I do play the banjo. 
I play the banjo damn good, actually. Play the piano, play the guitar, play the bass, play the violin, stand-up bass, the harmonica. Um, and I have played in bluegrass um, bands before. So, again, I'm, I'm only doing these jokes because I, I can, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right. Well, I did go punk our top. I already have a punk rock CD that I put together, so I don't know. But we got to get to this next one. Oh, no, we don't, because I forgot to do the most important thing of reading this, which is Dolly openly talks about what his cronies, Bullhorn Betty, JLR, and etc., do when somebody criticizes them. Absolutely. That is all Queen B did. Queen B did not dox them. I think the glarer. I saw a clip, and we're going to play this clip from this clip channel here later, where the glarer was talking about this whole ordeal. And he said, you know, Queen B and the glarer don't really get along. And, and the person that was on his panel was like, I don't get along with Queen B all the time. I do sometimes. I don't sometimes. But I've never seen her dox anybody. I've never seen her dox anybody. I've never seen her do anything more than her show, right? Uh, though, back to this, though. If you call out their bad behavior, even me doing it in a funny way, they're going to be mad at me more than anyone else because I'm sitting here joking on them, right? Go tell, go out and go sit down, Dolly, and have a long talk with dad, uncle, or, or mommy, aunt, and, and they'll, co they'll help life coach you into feeling better about the fact that you're getting dunked on, okay? No, it, I'm not being mean to you, man. I'm just chilling. We're just making jokes. We're just having a fun time, bro. Chill. Stop beating son nephew cousin it's bad for son nephew cousin and go have a therapy sex session with mom aunt and you'll feel better okay all right i'm gonna get myself i can't do this bit without laughing so i'm gonna get myself laughing again so they can use personal info that's irrelevant to youtube to target and attack people online yes menace's tweet is i've retweeted it i tag team youtube underneath it i am I am shocked that Team YouTube has allowed JLR Betty and Dolly to do this doxing spree. I'm shocked. So, so not only did JLR dox the living hell out of Queen Bee, not only did, because JLR got away with it, Dolly felt that she, um, uh, uh, God damn it, Betty felt that she had a, a pass. Betty put up, I don't even know how many videos, and I'm pretty sure she got a strike. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And then Dolly comes in and all of them just dox the living hell and try to bully Queen Bee. And we're not letting it happen. We're not allowing it. We're not going to allow it. No, you're not going to do this to people anymore. Large creator, small creator in the middle, you're not doing it. You want to go dox somebody. You want to go attack them. You want to go after their family. You want to mess with their... Uh, on other profiles they have online you want to try to lie about their criminal background eventually someone's going to sue you someone is eventually these the, the, unlike molly though jlr betty and dolly literally have nothing to sue over so they, they do have that protection that molly pretends that she has okay being broke is the best protection against a a, a lawsuit where you go around doing this to someone right so now we can move on to this. Greed. Thank you, Dame. Exactly. Um, Molly's Moose Knuckle has something to say. Says, I'm not shocked. The only reason, in my opinion, YouTube struck Molly is because of the St. Jude's fundraiser was involved. I agree. And I think because it was hate speech oriented. Yeah. I think a hate speech oriented and, um, you know, it being attached to that fundraiser. So Battery Betty doesn't want to name the person who let her know of a breaking story and upcoming presser because she wants to protect the person. How hypocritical. You Wait a minute, Betty. I thought that we could just go around naming anyone we want to name, saying anything we want to say, digging as much as we want to dig, and it's not doxing or anything wrong. By you not wanting to name this person, you're admitting you understand what doxing is. You understand the foundational point of doxing. You understand that what you did to Queen Bee was doxing. It was lying. It was slander. It was all of those things. 
Meanwhile, she spent the last four to five days doxing the F out of people and children. She's absurd. And as you're going to learn later in this stream, she absolutely has doxed children in the last day or two. There's so much, guys. Let's take a look. I told you, I, I was already hearing. And again, I just want to shout out um, to the person that sent me that information and put me on notice. Uh, oh, yeah, because you're going to protect them. You're not going to dox them. Oh, you will if they ever criticize you. See, this is what drives me crazy about the people that associate with Betty, right? Not that they're doing it. Not that she's going to dox them, because she will. She will if they ever regularly communicate with her. Eventually, they're going to say something she doesn't like, and she's going to dox the living hell out of them. It's a fact. It's a guarantee. It's going to happen, okay? I don't even care about that. It's their own choice. They're ignoring everybody's warnings to go at this and associate with this person. But here's the thing that gets me about them. After they get doxed, they're going to want help. They're going to want everybody to defend them. They're going to want everybody to help them, and we're going to help them because we're just nice people like that. When they could have just listened to us in the first place, right? Um, I, I don't want to, because of all the, the chaos here on YouTube, I don't see it uh, being any, um, it d serving any purpose to. Oh, so you do completely understand the danger and the issue of taking not just someone's identity, an anonymous person, and identifying them, but rallying up a big group of people against them like you and all of your friends have done against Queen B, telling people that she hurts kids using the thing that will motivate people to actually act against somebody else. I mean, it couldn't be that you're adding this lie to her record and to what happened about manufacturing, selling it to kids and all this garbage. You can't be doing that to hope that something's going to happen to Queen B, right? No, no, that can't be it. But you do understand what you're doing because you're going to say that you don't. You're going to say, and I guarantee you, this is so smart of Menace to grab this clip. Every single time she doxes and does this, she'll come out and say, but I didn't dox. And it's like she doesn't understand. She tries to play dumb. You can't do it this time, Betty. We've got this clip of you. Literally, while you're doxing these kids and Queen, admitting you do know. To provide that person's name, although I want to give them credit uh, for the great work that they did on. What, what great work? You just... Somebody emailing you three sentences, you'll act like is the greatest work in the world. This is you. This, you know what this is right here, guys? You think I'm going to say something irrelevant, don't you? I'm not. It's called love bombing. This is what a narcissist does. You can go look this up because I've studied this. This is what a narcissist does to take someone when they're desperate for companions. They are desperate for people to be around them, to be manipulated by them, for people to take money from, for people to use. In an event where they've been exposed and, and their narcissistic ego is right out in the open just getting and all the narcissistic injury that it can handle, they need new cult members. They need new people to kiss their butt. And how do you fool somebody into thinking that they should serve you and kiss your bottom like Betty wants when, as we all know, um, they're only sending you a couple sentences in an email letting you know about something that just happened. Well, you overhype it and you tell them how great they are. And, oh, my gosh, you, you helped me so much. And then that person feels like, oh, I can go get some more of that grat gratitude from Betty again. And that's how she sucks unwitting people in. Getting us the information uh, so we could go live as soon as possible. And we were able to uh, break this, this, um, this story Break? You broke a story. You, you, you do. You, you know, you do all the time. You have broken every story you've ever covered because you lie, you make stuff up, and you're not upfront with people about what you're talking about. So at least you're admitting the truth now. Um, right before even WFLA was able to get this up. So Bullshit. Bullshit. So, so hold on, hold on. You're such a great media outlet. 
Because I've never seen a great media outlet dox the living hell out of someone while having a hissy fit all day long, screaming, yelling, getting angry, choking the air, sweating, pour, going from, from smiling to angry, from smiling to angry so fast that it just scares the shit out of everybody so, watching. Uh, again, uh, that's a, a big um, a big feat. And um, we were... No, it's not. It's not a big feat. You're not being honest about breaking this story. You're a complete and utter liar, manipulator, a con, and you're outed. Everybody on YouTube sees it. I don't know why you're still putting this out. At least do what Dolly did and get out there and start telling people the truth, the littlest bit of the truth. At least do that. We were planning on getting out there. We were planning on going out there. I told you. Oh, God. Like, you think that people thought you shouldn't be going on scene to these stories before this week you just wait till after this because now people know that you openly and just like straight up don't care about letting people know that you're carrying a loaded weapon with you while having an extreme anger problem and many many instances of threatening to kill people threatening to beat people bloodying people's faces knocking their teeth loose trying to choke them to death i could go on right and now you're going to go around with all of these domestic issues, domestic uh, charges you have, while acting like, while lying about Queen Bee's, you won't tell the truth about yours. Queen Bee's not talking about taking a weapon and go, go stomping around some crime scene. You are. So, again, I've been criticized. Uni says that these people are dangerous. Yes, I did say that. Before she ever admitted she was openly carrying a, a loaded weapon everywhere she goes. Um, I, I find that I think that my criticism was on point, but whatever. Now I have to address another criticism that I, that's been made towards me. When I was in Queen Bee's chat, somebody said that I lied on Betty. They said that I lied about Betty it, where she had kids taken away because she hit the kids. And people out there, like the clip channels, I think, I think they just missed this because it was tucked inside of a Betty stream and I'm, I'm one of the clip channels I do think found it or put it up but it, it wasn't this big thing because it was in the middle of all this other stuff happening and we did cover it we played here and I heard with my own ears many of you heard with your own ears her describe how she has an issue with child protective services because they came in unfairly taking kids from her and this guy she was with because she smacked them up the butt that's what she always used to say up the butt now she stopped saying up the butt the minute that we criticized her for saying that now what i want to do i want to know where that clip is we thought we had it I come in to do the show, and I didn't have it. It was the wrong clip. I know that one of you have that clip. One of you knows where that clip is. You either know where on a clip channel it exists or where in my stream we talked about it because it is on my channel. It's just on the stream. I don't know which stream it was. If you know where this clip is, hook me up so that we can get it to Queen Bee because I want to give it to Queen Bee, and I want people to see it now that uh, Betty has gone even further with doxing um, and has lied on Queen B about kids. I, I find it very relevant to what's going on. So let me check to see if my mods actually have any submissions for me because they might have found it and I just might not have seen it. Oh, here we go. 35 minutes ago from JLR, huh? Well, this is going to be interesting. We've got, uh, hold on, hold on. I got to get my rooms. I'm not even set up for breaking news, Sheree, but I love that you found that. Um, Sheree, if you could for me, do you mind trying to help me find that clip of Betty talking about her these kids getting taken away from her and her boyfriend because she hit them too much? If any of you know where it is, let my mods know. They will put it right into my room that i can see here where i'm at and nick and navy if you guys are around i'll be ready for you guys here in like 30 minutes i just i'm almost halfway done here i am halfway done so
Breaking news right now on Uni News. I had to take a breath. I had to take a breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> this show's off the hook. Oh, get out of my lane. Get out of my lane. Get out of my lane. Lane, 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 lane. Welcome to Uni News, where JLR, Jonathan Lee Riches, and thank God he's done this because it's going to take us right into the next portion of the show where I embarrass the living shit out of this psychopath. One second. Bam, we're done. He has further doxed Queen Bee, lied about Queen Bee, and attacked Queen Bee right now. This just happened, so let's get started. He says, and I'll, I'm not going to put it on my screen until I read it and look at it, okay? I need to read and look at this before I do it. Um... Hold on, let me make sure I got everything. Uh, oh, PayPal came in. I will check right now. Guys, I have not even... I am so sorry, y'all. I haven't even been sharing my stuff. Everything's been going so fast. Um, let me check really quick here. Yes. Oh, my gosh. So flow. Oh, my Lord, I love you. Thank you so much. That's going to really help a lot. We're um, doing some Easter stuff this weekend. My heavens my goodness thank you if you want to support my stream it's paypal.me forward slash uni rock and it is money sign uni rock and money sign uni rachel because i know some of you have already donated through uni rachel and you like to do uni rachel or you like to do uni rock if you want to however you want whether you just want to like the video you just want to watch the video either way for free make sure you subscribe to uni rock too that's where my main content goes and i know we've been busy with these live streams but the live stream content gets put into commentary videos on UniRock 2. And once they start rolling, they're going to roll. Back to the breaking news. Thank you. got your Easter shopping done. Me too. I did it by the... I got... I... I <laughs> overpaid for plastic eggs. Way too much. Way too much. Can you believe... It shouldn't be legal. It should not be legal for them to charge that much for plastic eggs just because Easter's a week away. They they go from like 50 cents for like 20 of them up to like $10 for like 10 of them when it gets close to Easter. It's a, it's a complete scam. I don't want to talk about it. I'll, I will cry. The amount of money I paid. I love Easter too. I love it. I really, and, and this is my first Easter being, okay, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. And I don't know. However you guys take it, you can take it. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This will be my first Easter being a fully devout, like practicing Christian. I have been a Christian for years, but I was an atheist for the majority of my life. Up until like, you know, eight or nine years ago, seven, eight, nine years ago, something like that, right? So anyway, this will be my first Easter being a devout Christian. So it's going to be an experience. And I've already kind of have a new understanding of everything. It's it's a very different experience. It really is. Okay. But anyway, whether no matter what you guys practice, what religion you are, I fully respect you. And um, if you ever want to talk about religion, it's one of my favorite things to do. Join my Discord. We'd love to sit down and talk to you. Okay. Jonathan Lee Riches, 34 minutes ago, says a neighborhood... This is on YouTube? Oh, hell no. He's going to get his channel taken down, y'all. It's on YouTube, so I'm going to show it. Here we go. I, I thought it was like Twitter or something. This psychopath, Soy Boy, put this on YouTube. A neighborhood crime watch group in Galesburg is claiming that a YouTuber who goes by Queen Bee's real name, Rebecca Turner, is under criminal investigation for welfare fraud, making money on YouTube from super chats, donations, and monetization while collecting assistance from the state. A felony. Do you know that you posting this is also... A is it's also illegal. It's it's wrong because what you've shown here is not anything about her being um uh a cr a criminal or something, right? Um, if the, if she's being accused of this, why in the world haven't they just picked her up and charged her? This doesn't make sense. It makes absolutely zero sense. Zero sense. I have to search on this really quick. This is really strange. S 
something really weird's going on here. JLR is a coward. Let me go ahead and do my... my I, I'm going to wait and see what I get updated on this. Um, Navy, Nick, you guys are more than welcome to jump in right now because as soon as I finish this segment, I'm going to uh, have you guys come in if you want to. Um, but I'm going to just remind you guys of who JLR is. So the first thing I want you to do is to go to Google. I am not going to do what JLR has done and dox him. I'm going to tell you the truth about him through the media. I'm going to use the media, what he pretends to be. And I'm going to do it with more journalistic ethics than he has in his very malformed fingernail, his pinky fingernail. Go to Google and type Jonathan Lee Riches Sandy Hook. Jonathan Lee Riches Sandy Hook. You will have many awesome... Um, I'll just show you some of them. Many awesome articles that you can choose from. Okay? One of my favorites is the Delco Times, though. Okay? The Delco Times. Justice for Queen Bee, smash the like. Justice for Queen Bee, absolutely. And Nick, get in here. Right, you can come in anytime, but as soon as I'm done with this segment, I'm going to open up, okay? And I wasn't trying to boot you out earlier. I was just muting so you didn't have to hear me while you're watching the stream. I'm sorry, bro. I love you. You know, you know Boston Cronkite. You know it. Oh, that's Navy's. Boston Walters, you know it. So, what you need to understand about this man is he is a dangerous psychopath. A dangerous, dangerous psychopath. Queen B needs to get a restraining order on him right now. And I hope to God she does a GoFundMe and actually does this. I'm going to show you why. Because... This is so hypocritical. Anything that comes out of this man's mouth about anybody else is immediately hypocritical. This man has worked his ass off at becoming the most embarrassing, disgusting piece of shit that's ever existed on this planet in modern times outside of violent crimes. Like, he's gone all the way up to, and I wouldn't say, I, who knows? Hey, you want to go and talk about whether Queen Bee's done something or not, um, JLR? What have you done? What are you doing? Because you know that your first YouTube channel, I'm about to reveal this, was banned. You are ban evading on Jonathan Lee Rich's channel right now. Fact. Fact. Oh, you don't believe me. Well, I have some evidence in this article combined with other evidence on YouTube that proves you are ban evading. Let's get into it. Chester County man returned to prison for his trip to Newtown, Connecticut after Sandy Hook. Now, this is JLR, Jonathan Lee Riches, the same guy that's fooling people on YouTube into believing he's a true crime YouTuber or that he's even a YouTuber or that he even can talk straight. Okay, wait till you hear, you know what? I'm just going to go down and find some of these. How about the, the dolls? Uh, let's see if this is the one about the dolls. The only thing they're proving is that YouTube isn't a viable resource. We should already be aware that YouTube is for entertainment purposes only. They are a whole ass. Very true. Okay, listen to this, please. In, J in JLR's video, which was partially shown in court Thursday, JLR's YouTube channel was used in him perpetrating what he did to get him to go back to prison. That channel is gone. It was banned. I think JLR has come back to YouTube and put his channel and his AdSense account into another person's name so that he can have his channel because he is ban evading what I believe to be the most serious YouTube ban. There are several kinds of bans you can have on this platform. I'm not going to go into all of it and bore you right now, but that's where I'm at, and I'll show you why, but let's continue. JLR's video was shown in court Thursday. Riches is seen attempting to reach the home of the Sandy Hook guy, Adam Lanza, but is prevented by a police blockade. The video also shows Riches speaking to dolls, children sized kid dolls, little kids in doll form that he has put the face of Adam Lanza on. Okay. Before I throw my headphones, the man went and either stole or bought small 
children, baby dolls. What looks like a baby. This is how sick and twisted this freak is. And he took the face of a man who murdered those kids and put the face on the dolls and filmed himself speaking to the dolls. Earlier in the video, he calls these children, the children represented as dogs, dolls, his friends. He calls them Adam Lanza and Ryan Lanza. How is someone covering true crime now when not that long ago he was worshipping men who murdered children? He's worshipping men that murdered children. This is the same man on the news for talking to dolls with mass murderer, children mass murderer faces taped to them and in his sick, psychotic mind, he thinks that these are his friends, the dolls. But he doesn't think, the do he thinks that the dolls are the men that took the lives of those poor children. He is the worst tragedy pimp that exists. The, the word tragedy pimp does not encompass what this man is. He is dangerous. He is a psychopath. He is stalking, according to Buster Murdoch and his lawyer girlfriend, stalking Buster Murdoch's girlfriend. As we all know, he was trying to sniff the car seats of the woman's car. He was sitting there drooling while looking into the car. Just happened. And now he's going after Queen B. We need to protect our friend Queen B. This man is dangerous. There's a reason Bullhorn Betty can only befriend him and Molly. Because Betty has such a violent record, no one will take anything that comes out of her mouth seriously. So when she tries to befriend other people, they immediately start to ignore her and they go buy a neck brace to hopefully have enough cushion on their neck to prevent Betty's tiny hands from gripping around their necks if she gets angry and tries to chase them down. Betty, JLR, are some of the most sick and twisted people, and JLR is not allowed on this platform. So it's, it's crazy that this man tries to go after others, and it happens every time. We've covered these stories. Do you realize... Do you realize, rewind Unirock TV back five, six, seven years ago, okay? When I was debunking Sandy Hook, I covered this man doing this. Now, here we are all this time later, full circle. He's a YouTuber making money off of a platform by doxing, harassing, stalking, and fooling weak-minded people into believing what he's doing. This man Doxed Queen B. YouTube, why won't you step in? Why? What, what are you doing protecting him? We all bust our ass writing our shows, trying to make sure every single sentence that comes out of our mouths applies to your ever-changing strict rules that keep getting stricter and stricter. I've seen good creators go down over and over. Some of my favorite creators aren't on this platform anymore. And you've got someone like this raking in thousands every month. And he's raking in that money by still worshiping people that do this to children. There is no one more dangerous in this world. If you don't look at the murderers, there's no one else more dangerous than someone that will worship a child killer. They, he is fantasizing about this man solely because he is a child killer. He sympathizes. That's what being a friend is. He sympathizes with this man that took these kids' lives. And, and this is supposed to be a comedy show. You can't cover JLR 
without number one commenting on how much of a weak coward little soy boy he is for going around targeting women it's why he targets women online target me jlr target me you want to target somebody no you want to go around targeting women online it's what you do what you've always done you're a coward you try to intimidate you can't handle words if you get into an exchange with another human being on any topic they immediately find out who you are and laugh your ass out of the debate you dream about being taken seriously as a normal person maybe you should act like a normal person then maybe you should actually grow from your past change yourself and then try to enter the public space without proving with every dox with every woman that you stalk cyber stalk i can't believe your friend dolly just admitted that your ass because someone needs to let these people that he's stalking they need to know about the other victims okay he's already being investigated for stalking a woman right now i covered that story a week ago and they've only gone further since i covered it and now he's stalking queen b he can't help himself he can't help himself people he can't control his urges. He can't control his psychosis. Whatever the hell it is, he can't control it. He can't put a leash on it. He can't even stop himself from posting to his community tab doxes of people. And it's so ironic because what he is accusing Queen B of, Burnt Toast has proven Betty is actively doing. Burnt Toast proved it. Could that be why? Could him and Betty be sitting around and they're all mad for things they've been exposed for and they're trying to take it out on somebody else, trying to project it out onto someone else, you know? All of us need to cover this man. We need to cover what he did to Sandy Hook. We need to cover what he's doing right now. We need to cover his Buster, Buster Murdoch girlfriend stuff. We need to cover Betty. We need to cover Molly after we give Molly time. Because we're not them. We aren't tragedy pimps. We're not going to come in here and do anything to affect Molly in a negative way. She gets her time. Even though she won't give it to others, she gets hers. At least here. At least here. Because I'm not a tragedy pimp. My show does not operate because of the people we cover. It operates off of a format. It operates off of what we're doing. We talk about different shit every three months, six months, every year. You'll see different stuff constantly from us. This story should have been over months ago. But YouTube won't step in and do what's right. Let's actually tell you a little bit about this man. How about that? Real quick, I'm going to do this fast because I did this in a stream, but it was really late at night. I want to do it real quick here at the beginning, near the beginning of a stream. So Rich has violated his probation when he went to Newtown after he heard about the kids being killed. It, it drove him to Newtown, Connecticut. But did Riches go there to cover what was going on? No. He went there to try and convince people that Adam Lanza, this man that's made famous by the fact that he did this to these kids in Sandy Hook, he was trying to make excuses and give excuses to the media while, thank you a little bit, he was trying to convince the media that he was the uncle of Adam Lanza. And once he convinced several media outlets that he was the uncle, he was hanging out like in the woods around the uh, shooting and they went up and grabbed him, from what I recall. He told him, I'm the uncle, I'm Adam's uncle, right? They thought he could have been another shooter. They thought he could be another, another person coming in to do some bad shit. So the media starts talking to him and he tries to give excuses to the media for what drove Adam to do this to the kids. He was trying to get people to sympathize for the shooter. These are facts. 
You're not just going to find it in one or two articles. You're going to find it written about on Wikipedia, for fuck's sake. The man has a Wikipedia. Are you? It blows my mind that the people who follow these psychos can't even use Wikipedia. Jonathan Lee Riches is a convicted fraudster known for the many lawsuits he filed in various United States district courts, and he was incarcerated at the Federal Medical Center in Lexington, Kentucky for wire fraud under the terms of a plea bargain. He's such a... He is such, thank you, Molly's Moose Knuckles, but he is such a cowardly fraud. His release date uh, was April 30th of 2012. He was arrested for violating his probation when he left the Eastern District of the state of Pennsylvania without permission and drove to Connecticut and impersonated the uncle of Adam Lanza, the man who did the Sandy Hook Elementary School incident. Since January 8th of 2006, he's filed over 2,600 lawsuits in federal district courts across the country because he doesn't respect our country, our citizens. He doesn't respect himself. He doesn't respect others. And this is how you become a tragedy pimp. You've got to be the most worm, wormy person, the most cowardly person. You have to be a complete and utter entitled baby to the point where your body starts to look baby like your clothes don't fit your hats don't fit your head you're regressing in age due to how much of an entitled baby you are okay fact among the more famous defendants of his lawsuits and i'm not going to read them all he sued the planet pluto he sued every celebrity you can think of i don't care about that April 9th, Riches filed a request for a temporary restraining order in a district court against Grand Theft Auto publisher Take-Two developer Rockstar Games and Grand Theft Auto, the game itself, claiming that the that they put him in prison, that he played Grand Theft Auto and it made him go out and do crimes. He's this much of an idiot, y'all. And then once he gets out of prison now, because he's actually committed so many crimes and done so many horrible things to other people and communicated with too many dolls dressed up as his friends, now he thinks he's a true crime YouTuber. He knows all about true crime. He's been talking to Adam Lanza. He's been talking to everyone that's committed these crimes in the last God knows how many years. He's an expert on true crime now, just like playing Grand Theft Auto made him an expert in the crimes he committed earlier. What an utter genius that Dolly, Vision, and Bullhorn Betty defend and befriend here. Complete and utter genius. In 2009, he filed for an injunction now why did he file all these lawsuits gee willikers batman i wonder why he was driven like psychologically to file these lawsuits were well, very quickly i'll let you know he was mad because the guinness book of world records wouldn't acknowledge him for all of the fake lawsuits he filed wasting all the court time wasting all that money because again he filed as a person who couldn't pay for the bill for filing so of course since he didn't have to pay the bill he just started filing all the lawsuits he could because he made the state eat the bill he made everybody else eat the bill i guess i don't know so guinness wouldn't recognize him for a title the guinness spokeswoman told the huffington post there was no such listing they're not going to plan to create one for him most litigious man is not a world record it's nothing we've ever mentioned as a record category the action like the vast majority of his richest filings was dismissed so the fact that this man can not only convince his followers to believe that he's doing anything productive anything legit the man lives in a fantasy world it's a fact. Look at how he's still behaving. He believes that he's solving crimes and catching bad guys and getting justice, just like Betty. Delusional. Insane. Out of their minds. The last few days have been piles of doxes and admissions of guilt. Lots of stuff to squeeze into a 10-minute video. Menace, I, as soon as you get this video done, give it to me. Because I'm going to share the living shit out of it. You know it.
Menace got banned from Dolly's chat for asking for the evidence of the drug selling to the kids thing. They said I was one of Dolly's trolls. I've never even done a video on him. So I took it personally, and now he's going to get his 15 minutes of fame. Give it to him. Give it to Dolly. Give it to JLR. Give it to Betty. It's time that they actually get a section of YouTube that admires their low cow behavior. All right, real quick, I'm going to open up. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything on Rich's here. So nobody, unlike JLR, that likes to go around lying on people and trying to get people to think things, he's trying to punish Queen Bee. Oh, you laugh and joke on me and you're a female that because he's too scared to do this to men. He's too much of a coward. He's got to try to do it to women who he thinks won't fight back or that he can bully around. That's how he thinks. These things about J JLR are true. They are true. There's just not, you know what it is? There's not enough videos out there for his audiences to find that actually document what he's done. He's managed to slide under the radar. There's not enough commentary on this man. There's not enough audiences out there supporting that commentary by watching it, sharing it, liking it, and leaving comments on it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure when Menace gets done with his videos that we go in and share the living shit out of them. Watch the living shit out of them. We're going to blow them up. Our community is going to blow his videos up. Anyone else, like Deets on the Streets, who's made videos on him like this, we're going to watch them and blow them up. I will make videos, upload commentary videos on Dolly, JLR, and Betty. They can have their notoriety. The problem here, oh my goodness, what happened? Cherie, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> wow. Really appreciate you. The problem here, is that these people are lol cows. Lol, L-O-L, cows. C-O-W-S. Some of you don't know what a lol cow is. Some of you may not know. Well, let me hook you up. A lol cow is a person or a group of people laughed at for actions that they take despite not trying to be funny. They may try to take themselves seriously, but are often milked for laughs with or without their knowledge. There are famous locales, and there are non-famous locales. But do you want to know what's great about locales? You have to find the most cringy, the most hypocritical. And what could be more cringy than Betty printing out press passes, wearing them around... And believing, truly, she believes she's a reporter. That's cringy. What could be more cringy than Jonathan Lee Riches going around thinking that he's some kind of true crime media guy where his, he's such a freaking locale that his hat, his media hat is too big. His media shirt is too big for his body. They don't even fit him. Thus being a metaphor for the fact that he's not the media. He's not fit to be the media. The actions they take, running around getting so offended by someone laughing at them, shows that they deserve their own community. And, and unless we start standing up as content creators and pumping out the content and giving it to the audience, and hopefully you guys will support the living hell out of it, because if it does get supported, it's going to bring more people in. More and more and more people are going to learn what these people are doing if we as a community start supporting the living hell out of the good videos that document what they're doing. That's our goal. It's what has to happen. You got two options. Going to YouTube is not going to stop them. I was wrong. I'll admit when I was wrong. I thought that after YouTube had X amount of time, they would actually step in. I predicted that they would start going on doxing sprees. I predicted that they would start breaking the rules right in front of everybody. But I also predicted that after they started doing that, that they would do it so prolifically that YouTube would ban them. Okay, fine. I was wrong. YouTube is not going to ban these fools. So you know what we got to do? We got to use the old-fashioned, normal way of handling this. Make them infamous. We can do it. Look at how many people are in this community. Look at how many people watch every one of the creators out there. And this is where we have to band together as creators. Even if you don't like me, 
even if you're a creator and you don't like the way I joke, you don't like the way I do my show, right? Can we all not just put the differences we have aside, put out some damn good commentary and damn good live streams, damn good stuff, and in all of us incite our audience to go around watching, sharing, and supporting what we're all doing? Because you don't need YouTube. We don't need them. We don't need YouTube to come in and ban these fools. Why? Just, you know what? Just like they always say. Why do we want them banned? They're the most cringy, funniest goofballs that exist on the planet. And they believe that they are experts at this stuff. They think they're good at what they do. We need to get our community to make them infamous. They need to be the target of videos showing what it is that they truly do that's so cringy and so funny. Hopefully, after that happens, see, what usually happens with locales, like, there's, I can give you a complete example. There was a guy named Cyrax. He's been here for six years. He's had a very dedicated, small group of people who laugh at him and another guy fighting with each other, okay? But only up until about a year ago did they actually blow up. Now there are channels that document what they're doing along with several other locales and they're, they just get like huge amounts of views, like 100,000, 200,000, 60,000, 80,000. And these people that they're talking about are very locale, just silly people. They, those people don't really get all that many views. But the people covering those people get a lot of views. Because what is happening with Cyrax is entertaining as it could possibly be now here's the thing that i just i see it as a, as a person that's been making content on this platform for years i see these people have the potential if we just get the creators to pump out the content and we can get the audience to get in there and watch it and support it and blow it up once they're infamous everywhere they go they're going to be known for the fact that jlr talks to dolls that he dresses up as child murderers because he admires child murderers. This is a fact. Or how about Betty loves choking people because of her violent anger problem and she's done nothing over the years but fuel that violent anger problem forward while trying to pretend that she's a reporter on YouTube, always being held back by the violent anger problem, never able to really be a reporter. This is some really good TV. It, I think it's bigger than days of our live streams. I think it's bigger than burnt toast. I think it's bigger than heels in the air, right? We have to start. We have to decide now if this topic is worth laughing at. And if you truly believe it is, all you've got to do is watch it, share it, like it, and support it. That's all you got to do. Nick, sorry to make you wait, bro. <laughs> I'm just, I was on a roll, you know what I'm saying? I get on a roll sometimes, bro. Oh, you're good, brother. It was, it was actually good because I was trying to leave you a donut earlier and it said my, my, my card wasn't working. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I had to call my bank. I guess there was a fraudulent charge on it, but they fixed it. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Well, we're going to take like a literal 30 second break and we'll be here with, with Nick and uh, we'll keep this thing moving. Be right back here. Okay, so first things first, I will have this clip for you and Queen Bee. Um, it, it, I'll have it soon, but it's it's just lodged in the uh, mix of all of Betty's garbage. So I've got several people looking for it. They feel like they're close. Maybe we'll have it like really soon. Um, in the clip, she does say that her and her boyfriend were living with his kids. 
and CPS came in and took the kids out of the house because of Betty whacking them. And if you look, uh, if you look around, if you talk to the community, lots of people have seen this clip, but we just don't remember exactly where it is. So we'll have it soon. Again, if you're in the chat and you know where that clip is, get it into us. Tell us what video it's in. Tell our mods where it's at because we want it immediately. Um, but you know a lot more about what's going on with Queen B. So what happened yesterday leading into today um, to update us? What do you got? So, I mean... Yesterday, you know, Betty went on that that rant and whatnot, and I don't know if a lot of people know because she only showed it for a couple seconds, but she showed a picture of of, of Queen Bee and some family members with children in it, and um, which is a no matter what a no no. Uh, you don't bring family in it. You especially do not bring kids into it. Now that being said, there were creators after that. I'm not going to say one of their names um, that were saying, you know, you know, Betty, Betty was right for what she did. You know, I don't support Betty, but, uh, I don't like her, but what she did last, uh, today, early today was right. Well, I don't hold know on. So did. that person, so that YouTuber would be yeah. fine if a group of people went in and completely doxed the living shit out of them and people and family members around them and lied about their background. I doubt that, but go ahead. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And it's happened to, to this certain uh, creator as well. So it's a little bit mind-boggling how you support someone like that. Laura! Um, Laura, is it perplexed? Is yes, that her? It was oh my yeah, God, she, dude, I swear, I'm starting to be convinced this woman's out of her mind. She's just yeah, disconnected name, from reality. Her name is perfect, perplexed. She perplexes herself, I think, at times. Oh, um, every time. It's just ridiculous. How are you going to support someone? Her They're exact hypocrites. words are just true. I know her they, literally her exact words uni were um you know i don't really i don't really like what betty does uh, uh most of the time but in this instance she was right and i'm thinking to myself like are you serious right now she showed a well, picture don't she better not she better not uh, ask for sympathy if it ever happens to her so because no one's gonna give it to her I if know. that's how she feels hey you feel like it's fine all right then these guys all have this one thing in common which is and they wear their emotions on they, they have their thin, the reason they say it's thin skinned okay is because your emotions are behind your skin and if you have thick skin when somebody comes at you it reflects off your skin if you have thin skin it 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 reflects off your skin but it hits your emotions and it gets you upset these people have no skin they're nothing but bones covered in their emotion if you say anything that even make, just upsets them they go off so laura being someone that also is incredibly not uh, unintelligent sorry but also thin-skinned sees what betty's doing hey you hurt her image which in reality isn't her image it's her feelings and now you deserve what betty gives you right but yeah so so basically did so you're saying betty and jlr last night kept doxing queen b and then again today they're still doing it <laughs> yeah uh jlr did something today on his uh community post and he's just absolutely ridiculous um uh, he's a okay he's a, he's a baby back bitch as well i'll say so le well let's just talk about it for a second because honestly look here's my thing when people like betty have had let me make sure i get the right thing here um Okay, people like Betty have had burnt toast has come out to show that Betty has taken steps to not report her YouTube income according to burnt toast, okay? And Betty also has admitted on her stream, and just like the clip of her saying that she smacked kids and got them taken away. She also said on her stream that her channel was in her mother's name or someone else's name, not hers, and that she... On another stream admitted that she's pulling some form of government assistance right so here's my thing that's wrong if someone is doing that um but my point here is if you really think someone's doing that you don't you don't go and blast it on youtube unless you've got proof like um toast had toast laid out betty's words that built if so betty chose to put this stuff out say these things release this knowledge Toasty took the clips, said, wow, Betty, look at what you're doing. That's not doxing. To these people, to Betty, it is. Because even if Betty goes on her stream and says, I'm defrauding the government. If you say, 
you're defrauding the government, all of a sudden now you're the bad person because this is how unintelligent, it's how thin-skinned, it's how weak and cowardly they all are. There's no other way to describe it. I don't want to insult people when I commentate, but guys, you, if, if I say anything else, I'm not doing them justice with those words. I could say way more, so I have to go there. So what they're putting out about yeah. Queen B, yeah. JLR, he's he's got some Facebook page, it looks like. I don't know if it's Facebook. It looks like Facebook. Um, it's on my screen. I'm not showing it to my audience, of course, but it's on my screen. So what what is he trying to What's the intent here? What in the hell is this? What is he trying to do? It's like they're, you know how they, in my opinion, they're pressure campaigns they do in front of people's houses. They're trying to pressure people to not talk about them. In fact, they even put a bounty out, as Tim B just said in the chat, for him. $500 bounty to find out who B Tim is. This is where, this is, this is how, this is how this is getting. Who did that? It's, it's who did that? Ridiculous. Which one of them? I believe it was Dolly. I believe it was Dolly. B Tim, uh, you know you're in the he chat. He said this on uh, stream. Gordon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Tim will tell us okay later, but I'm, I'm like 99 i'm sure it was dolly okay okay well let me just say it like this hold on he bought bustermurdaw.com so that he could try and sell it this dude is actively out there scamming in every way he can in every way he can look at this he, this is what he's doing queen bee he is trying to protect his scams he knows you're about if he knows that if he doesn't stop you from going down his the rabbit hole of what he's doing now and what he's done in the past, that it's going to ruin his entire scam. All it's going to take is real. you. Go ahead. Let me just say this real quick. I apologize. It was JLR, no, not right. Dolly. I just want to get that clear. Oh, okay. JLR. Okay. But all he's trying to do is uh, prevent you from going down this rabbit hole because if that info goes out, then... When his audience goes in and searches for him, or let's say they search for some case or something he's covering, they're going to see the videos that we all put out. So I say that we know that YouTube isn't going to help us. YouTube will let these dudes not only scam, we've had trouble getting every fraud raiser that we have been able to prove they didn't do what they said they were going to do with the money. You can't get YouTube to step in and do anything there. Um, They'll just let these people run fraud raisers like crazy. So what did we end up doing that solved the fraud raiser problem with individuals? We made videos. Menace made videos. I made videos. Other creators out there that wanted to protect the platform in some way from these people duping more innocent people into giving them money so they could run off with it. Now, when they do a fraud raiser and they're, they're building the hype for it, getting people to donate, they see these videos that are like, oh, look at his last fraud raiser, y'all. That's what needs to happen here because we do have a massive power that they don't people. We have communities where people in the thousands will watch us every night and our community has to be at least 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 people. It's just the way that analytics works. You get 1200 people watching you the other night. I got 1100 watching me at once. That's, that's not 1,100 people. That, and you know this, but for the audience, that's more like 10,000 people that are floating by or whatever that number ends up being at the end of the day. And yeah, there's a, there's a, a lot of um, difference in all of us as creators. And so people will be like, well, I like what Queen Bee's doing more than I like nonsense or uni or whatever. So it gives them a lot of people a lot of choice. And, and there's a lot of variety in our community style wise which means there's a lot more people out there than we would think is my point i'm making so if we just all get together and we just we don't even like i get it some of some people aren't going to want to put this stuff on their channel um but if we can just get out there and get it on twitter if we can get it in the algorithm if we can get people talking about this it'll make a huge difference if i mean it this shows the proof this is proof his intent is that he is scared because a lot of the people that follow him are women and they are women that are for some reason horrible fact checking okay um so what he's scared of is because he believes that the people in his audience that fund him will relate to you and your style of content he is so terrified that you're going to go down his rabbit hole he doesn't want them knowing that he talks to dolls he doesn't want them knowing. I mean, I was just, true crime just reminded me 
and I want this video so bad. Several videos we are going to bring you. We're going to bring you the Betty video very soon because it's a real video. I'm not lying on Betty. <laughs> it's on this channel or I wouldn't bring it up. If I hadn't have already shown it, I wouldn't bring it up, but we will find it very soon, hopefully tonight. Um, the other video is of JLR having uh, uh, Gabby Petito's face on a stick in New York City, I believe. Yeah, True Crime, will you do me a favor? Will you type it again, what he did? Um, and if we have any video evidence of what JLR's done for these, like, I'll try to find some here in a minute, too. I'll search for some. We're dealing with a very scary, nasty individual. I do think he needs a restraining order. He is just the type of person, he, when he gets mad at somebody, he goes after him. He tries to stalk him down. So do we think that he's in control of this Facebook group? Nick, is that what's happened? Why is this Facebook group? This kind of Facebook group, that this, if it's really that town's or that city's Facebook group, they would never post this kind of post. These types of posts are for violent crimes, not for someone on YouTube. So, so is he in control of this account? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's his uh, uh, account. That's what I've heard. Um, I know some people can probably clear up in the chat, but I'm pretty sure that's it's his. That's uh, that's why. Well, he's if I can get a link to his front page of his account, I can get you every single detail on it very quickly. So I don't know if I can get Menace or Janie or any of the mods. We need to find the link to this right here. We need this link. So we know when it was created, we know what it posts, what it has a history of posting, and we'll be able to tell the IP it's coming from and hopefully apply that to some other IPs that JLR has like, you know, JLR, I love it when you hand exactly what we need to figure things out directly to us. We could just trace the uh, IP of uh, that the feeds BusterMurdahl.com maybe. Or, and then maybe maybe see if anything relates or whatever. But either way, we'll be able to pull a lot of information. But we'll do it the right way. We'll do it all idea. public means. Everything we'll do will be normal YouTube and analytical data. We, we don't go in and track people like you do and lie about people. So what I think is happening, looking at this, JLR has created or changed a previous Facebook page to be this, which is illegal. You can't mimic or... Somebody, you know what someone else needs to do? They need to notify the, 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 the local PD in this town that there is a page like this existing. In fact, if I was Queen B, what I would do is have your lawyer do it, or you could just represent yourself, or maybe one of your friends could do it for you and represent you, but I, I don't think this is the real, whatever this town is, Facebook page. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, the same in the chat. I was getting, I was getting the link free right now. Uh, it was made by JLR. There's no other posts on it either. This is highly illegal, JLR. You can't mimic his JLR's PO needs to know that he is mimicking um, the city crime watch pages to defame and slander other people. They need to know this because because JLR is so fucking stupid that he thinks a city's crime watch page for violent crimes is going to go around posting about YouTubers and whether they pay their taxes or something. What? I mean, I would. Th this is the thing. Molly has gone so far against me that I need to sue her. So has LB. According to the people that that I employ, that are employed to me, people that treat me, people that are assigned to me, uh, all of those three things, I need to sue LB and Molly. And just, I, it, Queen B could go talk to anybody. They would say that she needs to not only sue this guy, but, but saying sue does not just mean some like defamation lawsuit. Your lawyer can go and demand criminal charges start in a different city if someone is committing crimes against you in that city. But your lawyer can represent you in that, in that fact too. They can help you file these police reports. A police report needs to be filed in this town that states that JLR... Jonathan Lee Riches is impersonating the crime watch in their town to, I mean, this is direct slander, Nick. 
because it's accusing her of extreme crimes, you know? YouTube, uh, Facebook should act on this account immediately also. If you're talking, I can't hear you, just so you know. Oh, you're yeah, good. immediately. Can you hear me now? Uh, he's yeah, notorious, notorious for, for making these fake, uh, making these fake uh, Facebook accounts. Well, I, I I didn't need his actual Jonathan Lee Rich's Facebook. I need the the link to this Facebook, the right here. I just don't want to say it out loud because what I think he's trying to do is dox her, on top yeah. of like he's trying to dox her even further than he already has. And I'm telling you, this man will stalk you in real life and on the internet. He's known for this. He is accused of this. Right? You want to talk about somebody accused of crimes? Um, Jonathan Lee Riches, let's do this. Queen B, I don't know you. And people are going to tell you I'm only saying this because I'm broadcasting on my show and I'm doing my show right now and all that. I'm not. I mean this from the bottom of my fucking heart. You need to put a restraining order on this man. He is the most unhinged individual that exists. And thanks to Bullhorn fucking Betty and these other people on YouTube working with him to do this, they want to accuse other people of crimes. What in the same fuck do they think this is? Creating uh, city watch pages on Facebook to accuse people of felonies and then doxing them? And, and you know Jonathan Lee, Riches. Who else is done? Oh, it's somebody else. That's not my Facebook account. Really, motherfucker? Because you're right there doxing the shit out of this woman. For days. And then this pops up. And then you post it minutes after it pops up. I'm sorry, JLR. But you busted. You busted yourself. You played yourself. He is. According to a a Twitter account that has tracked him for years accurately. That's all I can say. He is on probation until November, I believe. You can update me in the chat if it was really like September. It's either September or November or October, but that's he's on probation until then. This man is already breaking the law massively before now, but now there's, there's no doubt. You can't do this to someone with social media. Okay, YouTube should have solved this problem by not... Oh, hey, Queen Bee, I don't know if you know this, but he's ban evading. His, his YouTube account, his new one, this is what's weird because I think what he's doing, Queen Bee, is accusing you of what him and Betty are doing. Because Burnt Toast proved that Betty has admitted on her channel with her own mouth, not only to getting kids taken away because she smacked them so much by CPS, fact, she admitted that, but also that... Um, she is claiming SSI while, or some other disability while at the same time not tracking her YouTube income to it by putting it in her mother's name. She's admitted this herself. Now, you'd have to go to Burnt Toast to get all the details. She's got an entire video breaking this down. I know because I watched it. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's the, there's the page. SF Investigates. Buster Mudda's girlfriend, Brooklyn, has fi filed a second police report in three days about the reporter that's trespassing, Jonathan Lee Riches. For those that do not know or may know, Brooklyn JLR is on federal probation right now, and it prevents travel or this behavior. He did get permission to travel because his probation officer is crazy and stupid enough to believe that his job needed him to travel. I can't believe he hasn't been revoked already. I've already read this whole report to you on a previous stream. So if you want to know all of the details about Buster Murdaugh's girlfriend, who is a lawyer, respected lawyer where she's at, regardless of any other details about her. I don't know anything about this woman. I'm not supporting her or something. I'm just supporting her as a human being. That's it. Uh, but if you want to know the details, you can watch my previous stream on this. The facts of the matter is, though, is that Jonathan Lee Riches is just a complete and utter stalker. It is no wonder he's chilling with Betty. I hate to repeat myself, y'all. I hate to repeat myself, but we're talking about a friend of ours, Queen B. She does not deserve this. 
They're not, these motherfuckers will cry innocent until proven guilty when you talk about how they busted someone's nose and almost choked someone to death. Fact. When it's in a police report, when they've been charged for it, when they've got all these domestics on their record, and they'll say that you're slandering them because you brought it up when they're angrily spitting on people in public, traveling around the United States with a loaded weapon on them like they claimed. Um, though, when you show absolute proof of what they're doing, you end up seeing that they are actually not affording anyone any form of innocent until proven guilty. They're trying to set people up to be guilty if they hurt their fifis by talking about how much of a little soy boy JLR is. Because he is. Real quick, I just want to show you what comes up if you just search his name and go to images. Oh, Uni, don't put down his looks. If you go around literally worshipping people that slay children i'm allowed to make fun of your looks i'm sorry i'm allowed to i'm allowed to clown on you i'm sorry motherfucker's dangerous it's ridiculous i i'm just stunned that they have they, they're letting this this fool run around youtube and do this well, we got two options. The first, well, we got two things we need to do, which is tag team YouTube and get everyone in our audiences from every creator out there, use our community tabs, use our channels if we can, get everybody to go retweet and tag team YouTube underneath where we've tag team YouTube showing them what they're doing. We need to make sure we spam YouTube on Twitter. You, YouTube tells us to do this. This is not us doing anything wrong that's how they say to get a hold of them in an emergency situation this is definitely an emergency it's about emergencies it can get on youtube then we all need to focus our content into showing the truth about these people until this is over so for at least a few weeks we need to be busting out a little bit of extra content on top of our normal stuff make sure that they never get away with this when they try to do another fundraiser when they try to cover another story they're going to people around them are going to know you want to go protest you want to go to the courthouse you want to go play these games you want to go interview people and shit like that they're going to know there's going to be enough youtube videos out there that they're going to know that you've done this stuff because they okay imagine this nick imagine betty and jlr go to protest and because they're being loud and nasty and obnoxious, a person standing there tells them to shut up and gets in an argument with them. Are we really going to think that those two aren't going to do the same shit or worse to that person? They absolutely would. Exactly. exactly. Um, there's no doubt about it in my mind. Uh-oh. You can hear me? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. That happened. Uh, I said uh-oh because Molly's live and she's... Oh, God. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. What's up? Uh, this pressure campaign that, that they're trying, they just need to realize it ain't going to work. It's just going to, you're, oh. you're, you're going to oh, make bro. people become stronger together. You know what I mean? This is why they fear me. This is why they fear me. Okay. I'm not being cocky right now. I've gotten X amount of years of proof that when I come into a conspiracy theory or a case like this or someone doing a fraud raiser or doing this stuff, they get pissed because we will blast it from the rooftops. We will get it out there. You know, you can hate me. You can hate my content. You can not like my style, but we get it done. It's a fact. We get it done. Molly is live with Wife Swap 10 years later. Sidinski, K family. I would say leave her be. If she's going to choose to do non-tragedy pimp content while she's going through what she's going through, in my opinion, chat, not because I like her, but because... We aren't tragedy pimps. I'm not going to go into her chat and say anything to her about tragedy pimping because if I do, then I'm exploiting what's going on with her family to try to attack her on YouTube. So you have to maintain the same rule set that we apply to everybody else. I know you're all doing that. I just think that reminding ourselves of that is a good thing to do. It's what we should do, okay? In the same way that we want to get the word out there about what they're doing to Queen B, we should also be restraining ourselves as long as... Marissa is chilling. It, it, it's the only way I can say it, okay? Not forever. She can have a couple days, okay? 
Not forever. You know what's funny, though? We're not even talking about her, but everyone said that if we didn't talk about Molly, we wouldn't get any views. Queen's never exactly. going to get views if she doesn't talk about that. Uni's never going to get views if he doesn't talk about that. I always say I'm going to get more views when I don't talk about that. You got it twisted. You got it backwards, uh, Betty. All right, we need to go to Betty. I want to know what Betty's been up to. I want to see a little bit of what Betty's doing. And in fact, yesterday, Uni, or today, sorry, earlier today, me and in the panel, before I jumped on, we were, they were talking about uh, a, a case. You know what I mean? Uh, a true crime case. There was 870 plus people in the chat. Nobody was talking about anybody. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, when I first made this channel, we busted a fraud raiser. They, all of that, they just constantly talked about how we weren't going to get any views. Oh, no. We had about two, 250, 350 watching uh, when we busted the fraud raiser, right? We went live to talk about two things. The first was uh, Roanoke, Virginia. There was an update to that whole story from back in the early days of the United States. And then to, t to play a video game. And we had like five, six, seven hundred going through the whole thing, even into the video game we were playing. These people are so damn delusional. People watch Queen Bee because they like your personality, Tim's personality, Queen, everybody that comes up there. They like their personality, their interaction, the way they banter and laugh and call each other out and do all that stuff. And, th and then my audience that watches me likes what I do. I'm not going to brag about what I do or anything. But my point is, it's just... You, you, all you can really do is laugh at these people because, you know, they say these things because they are scared that if they stop tragedy pimping the cases they pimp, they're not going to have anything. They're scared that they may get banned from YouTube due to all of this doxing and bullshit that they've got going on. If I go to uh, yeah. Betty's video tab, she's just got all this doxing shit about Queen Bee up here. If I go to her live tab... She's got a case about that the little boy that was discovered. And, um, of course, uh, it's a horrible update to the story. Um, why didn't Betty go to this story? you know, Nick? Because I heard some stuff. I mean, yeah, I think she had, uh, in her mind, better things to do like trying to dox Queen Bee. Well, there's a lot of people that believe it's her white pow pow videos because she's got these white power videos that she's been involved in. Uh, oh. these in, in okay, well, I'll, you know what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to see if I can pull it up because I know it's on a few channels here. Some people may not have seen this. Oh, if, if Queen hasn't shown this, oh my gosh, she should put it on damn repeat. to get it to pull up because YouTube's stupid fucking... Okay, it's a... Uh, uh, what was it? It was when she was... At... Proud Boys? Proud Boys. There it is. Thank you. That's what I need right there. Let's see if I can get it to come up. No, because if you... It, it, Proud It does the same thing. It does the same thing because Proud Boys is a restricted term in YouTube just like... oh. Hold on, no. It it come, it pulls up. Oh, there's the proud boy. There's the proud boy. There's one of the proud boys. So let's see this. There's one of them. Yep. Where is she? Come on. Where are you, Betty? It's going to be easy to find Betty because before she had a bullhorn, she was carrying around a guitar amplifier with with a with a microphone plugged into it. There she is. Is that her? Yeah, that's her. No, she's got the bullhorn. She's got the bullhorn. This one. But she's been to way more Proud Boy protests than I knew about. But no, we've got we've played this clip a million times here. I'll see. Let me ask my mods because they'll be able to grab it. She just loves to scream at, at people. I think it's just like it's like I don't know what what it is about her, but she like likes being behind a bullhorn and screaming, talks in third person constantly. It's weird. She's one of those people that lives alone because if she doesn't live alone, she does that shit to the people that she lives with. She's one of those kinds of people. They're always yelling and being negative and being mean and being nasty to people and that's why she's she doesn't have anybody around her um oh yeah 
Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, Menace. We have it. We have it, Menace. To sobriety always comes through. If you're not subbed to Menace, you're crazy. His channel's blowing up right now. He's been putting out some of the most, like, funniest tragedy pimping content, uh, exposing content you have ever freaking seen. It's freaking hilarious. It's in his shorts, he said. So here's Menace's channel. Mods share Menace's channel. Dude, you're above 2K, bro. Where it stops, nobody knows. Okay, so we're in his shorts here. Oh, here's one of them. All right, let's see what he's got. Oh, yeah. We've got Andrew Griffin out here on an amp with a there's the, There's the guitar amp with a microphone jacked speaker. into it. This guy's hat says Proud Boy, as does this one over here. So she has brought the Proud Boys down here. You know the funny thing is, if you're all alone, you're all by yourself in that vehicle. Oh, promo discount code you can check out at Trump 2024. Okay. I want you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She always flashes this when she's mad at people of different ethnicities. Um, so what I want you to do, whether I don't care what side you're on. I, I, I don't do the political game. I don't play the politics game around here. Because it's too divisive. And if we divide our group, all we're going to do is be weaker against the, the stuff they're doing. And because we follow the rules, we're already as weak as we can be. We need tens of thousands of people to even have any chance of doing what we're doing. So we cannot divide ourselves through politics. Ignore politics. But you shouldn't be screaming white pow pow and supporting white pow pow. Can't even say it or I'm going to get, I'm probably already demonetized just because this is on here. Take a look. Swag. Trump 2024. Let's do it. White power. Yes. White Trump. Power. Trump. Hmm. Neat. Betty. Now the guy that yelled that, let's see. Is that him? Oh, yeah, man. She just loves hugging on them white. Oh, damn. Oh, so oh, the dude yeah. that was saying the white pow pow, he's flashing this sign that Betty was flashing, and then they hugging on each other. They tried to make some babies. Uh, those two guys yeah. are not Proud Boys. They are Front Row Joes. Oh, the two guys weren't? Oh, you oh you mean in the other video. Okay. Okay. And you tell your Thank you, Heels. friend, she can kiss my white ass. Ooh, Betty. JLR. Now, I mean... Now, if Ooh. that's not a, uh, a racist, I don't know what is. Exactly. You don't, why are you bringing skin color into it when you're angry and you're trying to act above somebody else and you scream and you, and you, and you divide by the collar of the skin? Uh, you know, every clip, you just got to look at the intent, the action. This is not a victim's advocate. This is a victimizer. This is an abuser. Because when you abuse somebody, they become your victim. And because they have abused the people in their lives to the point that they have and generated the real records of violence and domestic treatment and just pure insanity in JLR's case, pushing every normal person away from them, by default, they must. They must relegate into extremist places to be accepted. Because by definition, as a group becomes more extreme, they are pushing towards the edge of the social structure, and that's why they have less people. They become desperate for people. And because Betty is desperate because of these other reasons, JLR is desperate because of his reasons, they find each other, and also they gravitate towards extremist beliefs and extremist friendships and behaviors. And this, too... When she was trying to troll one of her early criticizers, she would go up on his panel because he would have an open panel, and she would sit and flash this sign on his panel. And I know the background of this hand sign because I was my my main channel, Unirock TV, not Unirock Two. I have a bigger channel, Unirock TV, that I stopped posting on when they started to demonetize things because they demonetized my entire fucking channel because I covered. And because even if you debunk and bust a conspiracy theory, if the conspiracy theory is part of your video, to even debunk it, they're still going to demonetize you. So my main channel, it just sits there. 
on that channel, I did deep investigation. My biggest videos were a history and deep archival of what was happening on 4chan or Reddit or message boards and the kind of things that would come from these people going down these rabbit holes. I was watching the conspiracies form, tracking them from the beginning all the way to the end and doing kind of documentary kind of style debunking. My point is, I know where this hand sign came from, though a part of the history of the hand sign, even though it originated as a joke on the internet, on 4chan, extremist groups picked up the usage of the sign as if it was real. There are, this happens a lot where a uh, non-racist sign or a non-hateful sign will have a form of it that isn't the original form. And the original form of a sign could be what looks like a swastika, but as before the internet, as time, as these signs traveled, they would change shape a bit based on the extremist groups that would pick them up. This has happened. I don't want to bore you because I have like, hours of content in my brain I could bore you with about this kind of thing. The point is, yes, Betty is using this as an extremist hand sign, a dog whistle, as a way to express to people, if you, we can't be up front about some of our extreme beliefs or we'll be banned. So we need to communicate it in another way. And that's what she's doing. And it's just the, the most hypocritical, crazy thing for them to be complaining about a criticizer, someone that, like myself, that would just get up here, tell you what's happening, document it, and talk about it, right? They do it, though, because it's destined to happen. Just like an extreme, just like a person that, uh, that um, isolates themselves through abusing people in their actual home life will end up seeking out extremist groups whether it be in religious whether it be political whether it be some form of relig of extreme group that will allow that that style of person to be there in the same way on youtube these people once they become outed for what they really are betty being racist jlr being racist then being hateful then being doxers then being stalkers then breaking the law and the rules over people criticizing them this also is destined for them to attack Queen B, myself, whoever pops up that fits that bill, because again, they've learned these tactics. These tactics aren't normal. It's not normal to stalk and talk somebody, especially when it's not going to get you anywhere. So you'll ask yourself, why does someone like JLR, Betty, and some others that I won't name right now, dox? and act this way so prolifically, it's a learned behavior. Back when the internet was a younger thing, this worked for these people. Them scaring people into thinking that back in the dial-up days or the early ethernet days of the internet when, when basically all you had was a chat group or a message board, everybody was anonymous. If they could dox a person that they were mad at back then, they could chase them off the internet. This is a learned behavior that they learned many years ago. They, they almost, quote unquote, grew up on the internet, perfecting the behavior, protecting yeah. their scams and their extremist behavior through doxing and attacking people. That's why they use it now so easily. That's why they're so quick to go to it. So this is very relevant. It's like relevant. a rinse and repeat for them, right? Exactly. It's like a rinse and repeat. That's what they were always used to doing. Exactly. Um, I don't want people to think I'm see Betty will try to tell you oh you're just shaming me because I hung out with these racist people I'm not racist you're just being mean uni no I'm making an argument that explains every detail of your behavior I didn't make the argument months ago because back then I needed more examples of you instantly triggering to this behavior before I could prove that it is something regular that you've learned and that you execute almost subconsciously. And now that I've got the evidence that you and JLR and other people in your group use these tactics, while at the same time, I have found proof that you did exist and use the early internet in ways to scam and take advantage of people, I can make this argument now without you worming out of it like you tried to uh, months ago. So take the L. I'm right. Take the L. I'm done with them. I, I spend the majority of my time on this, on this platform not being me. It's just the truth. Because the old Uni Rock 
was someone that made extreme jokes, not their form of extreme, the type of extreme joke where you see me being the silliest, most goofiest motherfucker yelling and screaming, bang, 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 jumping in my lane, you know, this kind of dumb stuff. I try really hard not to go there and I try hard not to engage in these kind of back and forth with these kind of creators because it does turn into a big drama. And I always try to get the drama levels low get the content levels high, get the live stream levels high and not go into the drama space. But I, I just, I think it's time for us just to just unleash it. Just let it go. I mean, I, we follow the rules. We do it making jokes, being funny and proving our case. And we need to do that times a thousand. They may do it by doxing and stalking times a thousand. We will win because we have the truth on our side. They don't. They, yep. the, all they're doing is lying. Where did we come from here? Oh, Betty's page. That's right. So after everything we just showed you, I do think I can make the case that one of the re reasons that she didn't rush to help with this missing person and one of the reasons why I think she handled this case like she did is her racism. I'll make that argument at a later date. So let's take a look at the last video she did yesterday. Wannabe drug thug saga continues. What does that even mean, Betty? So you're admitting finally that she's not a drug thug like you said she was. But now you're going to say that she's a wannabe drug thug? The truth is coming Good through boy. in your lies. You know what I'm saying? The truth is coming through in Betty's lies. You can't be a wannabe sure. if you're accusing her of going to jail for it, being charged with it. She's not a wannabe. And look what her most views are on. This video right here is basically their most views that she's had. Oh, hold the front door. <gasps> You're right. You're right. She can't get any views doing anything else but attacking Queen. It is true for you, not us. Here's the proof for you, Betty. It's not us that have to get views off you. It's you that has to get views off Queen B. Woo, that's spicy. Well, thank you, Glory. I look. You never the one the the the, the mistake JLR Betty and the rest of them made is thinking that becoming a keyboard warrior would accomplish anything more than just exposing how much of a thin-skinned crybaby that they are. We're on the internet, people. <laughs> we are sitting behind a computer screen. When you try to act tough and dock somebody behind a computer screen, you're just looking weak. Just looking, you know, like, like a crybaby that can't handle what that person said and did to you. One of the best examples I can give you is Moist Critical versus, what is that dude's name? Someone in the audience will know. Moist Critical, giant creator. A lot of you probably watch him. Really good creator, right? This dude, I think his name's like Ski or something. I forget his name. He tried to basically make fun of Moist Critical and Moist Critical's girlfriend. So Moist Critical just responded and just completely annihilated him by joking on him, laughing on him, commentating on him. Completely annihilated this fool, right? He got so triggered, he went and grabbed a gun, went up to his camera, and started threatening Moist with the gun. So it's been a couple weeks since this happened, and this dude has become the laughing stock of his community. And everybody's been making fun of him, dunking on him. He's lost all of his, you know, YouTube cred or whatever you'd say. He looks like just a complete and utter idiot now. And all Moist Critical did was tell some jokes. That's all he did. He responded to this guy insulting his girlfriend by telling some jokes and just nuked him from orbit. And that's what we can do here, you know? You, you just do your thing, you respond, you laugh, you joke, and, and we get the audience to actually back this up because we don't go to our audiences ever and be like, look, guys, you gotta come in oh, yeah. and really blow this up. We really don't do that because we're not like them. We want you to get riled up when you're riled up so that we know, okay, you want this stuff or you want that stuff. This works, that works, right? They robbed themselves yeah. of being a good streamer by cheating the system in tragedy pimping because they, they never know what, what works and what doesn't in the live streaming space. But anyway, we need to rile you up is what I've been trying to say this whole stream 
we need to ask you guys to get uber supportive when Menace uploads, when Queen uploads, when anybody starts to talk about Betty, JLR, and the rest of this stuff. We need to blow it up for like a week so that everybody out there just, no matter what they try to do in the future, it's going to follow them. They won't be able to escape it. And not because it would, they were doxxed, but because we told some jokes and we, uh, we dumped the truth on their heads, right? Let's see what Betty's got. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see how Betty did this. Oh, I'm sure this is going to be just wonderful. I bet she's not going to be crazy. No one's going to get choked. I bet nobody's going to have their. Oh, you know, I, I'm going to go buy me a neck brace. And every time I cover Betty, I'm going to put the neck brace on to protect my neck from her hands, from her choke hands. Well, like oh, Sneeko, thank you, Green Frog. Charlie destroyed Sneeko by telling a couple minutes of jokes. It is the most beautiful internet response uh, story ever. It's just great. <laughs> Good morning to all the people on YouTube. It's nice to see you guys here. I see, she knows she's going to get views on this video. Good morning. I'm a YouTuber. I'm not faking it and doxing everybody and tragedy pimping. Come on. Do I look like a tragedy pimp? As you know, we covered a case. Um, right, there she it is. Put her earrings in for this one. Oh, yeah, she got the hoop earrings in. Um, hey, guys, I'm a real YouTuber. I covered a case. I'm going to cover cases. Case, 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 case. I'm real. In North St. Pete. Uh, of a if I name the word, if I name the place of the case, then it'll make it seem real. A, a mother that was brutalized and um, her son missing. And we had some. You racist. I can smell the racism from here, Betty disgusting individuals come smells like old socks come up in here and try to take the focus off a missing two-year-old baby that was you that's what you did over some petty bs let me just well hold on hold on betty hold on wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute so you didn't take the focus off of the baby literally with just a couple thousand views to break 10,000 views, which this will in the next couple days. Attacking someone over drama. You didn't do that? That wasn't you? Nice. Are you looking in a mirror? You must be looking in a mirror. Just explain this to you, and I'm going to explain it to you very clear so the stupid people that like to watch me can... Stupid people that like to watch me. Stop talking about your audience like that, Betty. Can understand and understand very, very clearly. When you send out binders, when you're sitting there... Binder. <laughs> okay, for those of you that may not know this, Betty got really mad at us a few months back. I think it was Toasty. Uh, and she pulled out a binder that had a bunch of blank pages in it. We took a picture of the binder and zoomed in on it. It was all blank pages. She held it up and tried to act like she had doxxed all of our records and yada, yada, yada and shit. Calling law enforcement. You're taking valuable resources away from a case. What? What are you talking about? Valuable resources. So don't sit here on your pedestal and say... Wait, so it's not taking valuable resources away from cities by traveling there and exhibiting inappropriate protest-like but not protesting behavior where the city council and other members of the city politics have to come together and ban people like you from ever coming there again. That doesn't take away resources, right? Uh, how about the fake CPS calls, all the doxing, all the harassment? That doesn't take away resources? What about all the slander and... Okay, I'm going to stop because you're the one taking away resources, Betty. Look in the mirror. That you give a damn about these children when you allow a petty... Petty. Petty. Very petty. Like, I don't know you. I, I definitely didn't pick this fight. Hold on a minute. You were the one that was covering the kid and then attacked Queen Bee with like 17 videos. N not Queen Bee. That was you. I definitely didn't pick this fight because I don't even know. Cheesy says, I just got here. Did you see her smile when she said that they broke the story first? Sick witch. Oh, I know because she knows she's lying. What, what? Me and Cheesy have her body language nailed down. It is so obvious. She exhibits the... You, you definitely would want to play poker against Betty. That's what I'm trying to say. She exhibits the most insane tells. The dumbest tells. The most craziest tells. Um, oh my goodness. Somebody donated. Thank you. I, I didn't catch when you guys donated because I was just too into the stream. I just want everybody who donates to know that I appreciate you very much. Um, 
and you supporting the show is just uh yeah i can't even uh put it into words so I, all i can say is thank you and if you want to support me i just put the link in the chat and i uh, appreciate you guys very much Nobody all right let's keep forgets. moving but you're, you're gonna you're 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 put you're messing with wrong people out here that are trying to do good things no you're not tr okay you're trying to do good things you fail every single time every time you try you fail <laughs> you are not trying to do good things betty that's not what you're doing betty because when you try to do good things you would immediately have stopped yourself from engaging you could let queen b remember that freedom of speech remember that you know as long as queen b isn't breaking any rules and queen b did not break any rules covering you at all she didn't lie about you she didn't slander you they laughed at you which there's going to be a lot more people laughing at you and your friends here in the next few months. You mark my words. So if you can't handle Queen B's audience laughing at you, just wait until you see what's coming down the line when it comes to laughing at you guys, okay? Because it's coming. And you're a despicable woman that has done horrible things yourself. And I don't really care if you've changed your life like me, if given your life. Uh-oh. Molly got blocked. Molly better hope this isn't a copyright strike. Is if they end up striking yeah, she's this? Back live. Yeah, she's she's actually back live right now. They took it down because um, she started playing the um, the video yeah. of her of, of a wife swap. Oh, I know, I know. But what I'm saying is that company will have the choice after she's done streaming to uh, either file a copyright strike or force her to take oh. the video down without a strike, or they could just remove the copywritten content from her video. There are several choices that they have after this strike happens with Molly. So I'm not saying it will because a lot of these companies have realized that they don't mind people reacting to them and they don't have a legal basis to go to court against people that react. So they'll let people play videos in an upload. But when you're live and you're playing them, they've started to come in and strike. And yes, some of these companies do. That's why I haven't covered this live yet. This I wanted to play this so bad and I didn't do it because I knew something like this would happen. It is not guaranteed. It's actually a very slim chance, but it is definitely within this company's ability and right to file this as a strike after she's done. I'm just saying it's a possibility. And she does have those two other strikes on her channel. If that third one goes through, she a done so, but they might not do it. So I'm just, I'm just telling, I'm just, you know, letting people know the possibility there. Oh my God, I know. The dude threatened Moist with with a gun, and he pulled out the clip, the the magazine, and he says, "Why don't you watch my clips? Why don't you watch my clips?" Right. So Charlie goes and gets his guns, and he's like, "These aren't clips, dummy. These are called magazines." You look like an idiot. It was hilarious. The dude peed his pants. He was so Life mad. Over to God, I guarantee you probably haven't. You're more. Con Give your life over to God. Are you delusional? You're 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 gonna you're gonna fall back to the religious excuse. You doxed Queen B because she God told that, you to. Oh, let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. She just said that. And you're a despicable oh, woman God. that has done horrible things yourself. And I don't really care if you've changed your life like me, if given your life. You have not changed your life over to God. I guarantee you probably haven't. Have you given your life over to God? Because I guarantee you haven't. That's that's only can be said. Oh my God. You can only say that, Betty, if you're implying which you're directly implying that you've given your life over to God and that you've changed, which you've done none of these things. I'm not going to judge you, but I will tell you now, you have not done those things. Okay. I'm not judging you. You haven't done them. You can't dox somebody like you. You wouldn't have the anger in you. You'd listen to Queen Bee laugh at you and you'd be like, okay, you know what? Yeah, it's pretty cringy when I pretend to be a reporter. Yeah, it's pretty cringy when I pretend like I'm a news network. I guess they can laugh at me. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what a someone that's given their life to God would do. I mean, look at the amount of idiots. And I'm not talking about criticism because there are good criticism videos out there against me. I try to answer every criticism video. But the amount of people that lie about me or lie about something I've said about a, a situation in order to try to make a video against me, right? You don't see me flipping out on them. All I do is laugh at them for being so incompetent, right? Um, the point is, please, Lee's go down this road. I don't know what she's going to say, but I hope she does. You're more concerned about what I'm doing with the money that I receive from this channel. But what are you doing with your money that you're. When, what are you talking about? People are only concerned about the money that you've made from your channel because of what you said 
publicly. See, I know what happened. So I can actually we, correct your, your weak ass here, Betty. But go ahead, Nick. We've uh, we've laughed at our wish list before. You know what I mean? Because the wish list she has is absolutely That's, ridiculous. And she lies about her wish list. No, you guys are complete. I, I've seen what you guys have done. I've watched, I watch Queen all the time. Yeah. None, you guys have not done anything inappropriate. See, what Betty's doing here, she's saying people that talk about the fact that she has admitted on her channel to putting her channel in her mother's name while she collects reportable disabilities, um, and people have criticized her for this, she gets so mad because she's in fear that at some point she's going to get in trouble for how she's handled this, right? And again, I don't fault people. You know, one of the hardest things to do when you start YouTube is to go hire someone to do your taxes and, and do your business stuff because it costs, it's the thing that costs you the most money as a YouTuber. So when you're not making that much money, you have to look at what you've got going on and say, okay, I'm going to go pay this dude that much money to do this, or I have an insurmountable um, job of doing this myself. And I'm telling you, through experience, it's extremely intimidating and hard to do. So I don't judge people who have, uh, uh, what do you call bumps in the road when they're trying to handle that process of their channel. But that's not what Betty did. Betty has admitted to some kind of disability. You'd have to go watch Toasty's videos to get the details. I haven't memorized the details, but she did admit to some kind of disability or reportable assistance from the government while admitting that she is putting her income in her mother's name. This is Betty's own words. Betty thinks that if you take her own words and you call her out or laugh at her or anything from what she's said and done, that that means she can go dig into your life, dox you, lie about you, attack you, and do all the things that she's done. That's what sets them down the path of going after Queen Bee or going after whoever they go after. Like, you, do you recall when she went after Burnt Toast? She had went and struck Burnt Toast's videos because she was so out of her mind dumb when it came to copyright on YouTube. She had no clue how it worked. She thought she had the right to strike Toasty's videos. Toasty was fair use commentating, so YouTube sided with Toasty. And Betty responded to YouTube and said, you give me her name and location or I'm going to strike all her videos. And they responded to Betty and said, that's not what the copyright system is used for. And you will lose your channel if you keep pursuing this. Now, I have no clue why they didn't delete her then. This is what I don't think. This is what I don't like about YouTube. Back in the day, anyone that wrote that response to, to YouTube themselves with their partnership would be instantly banned. Give me her name and address right now. That tells you they are doxing that person. YouTube should have banned her, but of course, new YouTube just lets them do this shit constantly. And now look, she's out doxing the shit out of everybody. If YouTube would have handled her when, when she did what she did to Toasty with the copyright stuff, then this wouldn't be happening. It's just disgusting. Back to you're it. receiving from the channel. People see very clear where I'm spending my money. They we don't care where you're spending your money. You could go buy a bunch of dudes that come in. What are they, uh, the, what are they called? Where you come strip for you from that restaurant or whatever it is. Uh, um, you, you, could go, you could go be tipping male strippers with every dime you make, Betty, and nobody would care. You made that money. What, uh, what was it? Chippendales, Chippendales. Right? Chippendales, yeah. You can be going to Chippendales. I don't know how and, I know and, that. I don't know how I know that. I don't either, Nick, but I'm scared now. I'm just kidding. Um, she's uh, She could go to Chippendales and she could put every YouTube revenue she makes into their thongs. I don't know. But the point is, that's not... You You are conflating things due to your anger, and you know it. You know They see it. me traveling this country. They see me preparing um, flyers. I want you to listen to what she claims she does and ask yourself a question. Does any of that do anything? Anything. Does traveling do anything? A uh, nope. Does making a flyer do shit? A uh, nope. Let's hear some more. And banners. And going out and bringing nope. attention to cases that need attention like a two-year-old. Nope. You ain't doing anything good because of the stuff you do on your channel. Because of the doxing. Because of the attacking. So when you bring attention while doing that stuff, you're harming that child. You are harming that case. All you're doing is clickbaiting that kid's passing 
so that you can bring more people into the drama that you're creating with Queen. Queen covered you. Okay. If you, if you think Queen did something wrong in covering you, you can pull Queen's coverage. You can grab what she did wrong and criticize her and people would be on your side. You didn't because she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. You are the one that got mad because of Queen's fair use commentary, free speech, well done commentary. It's pissed you off and you went overboard against Queen and you clickbaited that poor two year old that just passed and we just found out passed in order to inflate your drama. You did that no matter how much you lie. Proof is on your channel. Old boy that had his mother brutally murdered and he is missing. Those are the kinds of things that we do. And you clickbaited him. You hear. It is. Yeah. You're, you're a tragedy pimp. Yeah. Don't get into the petty stuff. You're nothing but the petty. That's every fiber of your being is the petty. That's what being thin skinned is. If you weren't petty, you would be thicker skinned. You don't have to be super thick skinned. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's a fact. See, that's the thing about my commentary. I'm good at it. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm not being mean to you. I'm spitting facts at you. Got me? Your thin skin is why you're so petty. We will. I show you we will. And when we do, we kick in the front door. We know. We've looked at your record. And I'm not kidding. She has done that. <laughs> like, before she punched some dude in the teeth, busted his teeth loose to where he's going to have to have the effect of his loose teeth for the rest of his life. They were his adult teeth that she busted loose. And then she wrapped her fingers after after illegally entering the back door around the dude's neck and choked him until he lost consciousness. Right before he died, she let go and came to her senses. This is a fact, Betty. This is not an allegation against you. It's a fact. Okay? Now, once you got in the cop car and started to drive away from this domestic violence incident, you told the cops you were going to kill them. And you told the cops you were going to kill him. These are facts. Okay. Now, if you want to say that this isn't a fact, you can go address that with the precinct where this was recorded, if you'd like. She's calling herself a dead person now. But. I no, she's telling the truth. You have combined Queen Bee and someone else with Queen Bee's name. You have violated this person that passed away by adding things from their record disturbing them in their peace to connect it to queen for your own petty it's another form of tragedy pimping but it's a doxing tragedy pimp keep going yeah. i want you guys to hear something she what she did because basically uni is she used the picture and then she used uh, a woman in florida the uh, florida's chart uh charges and put them together yeah she combined something queen b had done which is mundane mundane it's something that could happen to any of us what it what it tells me about queen b is that because there's only one time that it happened that Queen Bee was actually out working her ass off at a convenience store. Okay? So Queen Bee was working. She was out there doing her thing. And she only had one slip up. And you want to take yep. a dead person and combine their record because they have the same name. And that's why, you know, we couldn't figure it out at first. Remember, you go back either one or two streams in this on this channel. You will hear me say... It's so strange because JLR and Betty's records for Queen B have two different birth dates in those records. And I was complaining about this because unlike you, Betty, I actually do my research. I actually physically look at everything that I'm given and I, and I calculate it myself and come to those conclusions based off of facts, unlike you. So when I saw those two birth dates, I immediately knew something like this would be the outcome. And lo and behold, we finally figured out what you two did. Just like with JLR taking a Facebook page and trying to fake everybody out to think in the, he is such a fucking idiot. I wish I could use different words. I'm stopping myself from using different words to describe this complete and utter failure of a human being. It's what you are, JLR. You are a failure of a human being at every level, from the micro all the way to the macro. You don't learn from your mistakes. You're a sociopath. You are out of your mind. You need to be committed. You are out of it, dude. Uh, you are a scary, disgusting individual. But let's get back to it. Taking a Facebook page, mimicking, impersonating a crime watch page so that you can try to fool people into believing that Queen Bee did, this, did what Betty has been proven by 
Of course, Burnt Toasty's video referred to it for the facts of doing by her own admission. And I know that's a lot, but it's true. Because she had acknowledged it on one of her lives. Let's listen. Next thing I know, I got a big ass fucking community post on Callie's fucking community tab that I'm the horriblest person ever and I'm a fucking crackhead and this, that, and the other. First of all... What does this prove? Well, okay, so there was a community post. You obviously don't know the the difference between smoking the shit and selling the shit. Boom! That's, that's not an admission. You not knowing the difference between smoking and selling is not an admission, Betty. What are you talking about? It's she goes, boom, boom. Look. I, I know. Like, She's out of her mind. She is completely detached from reality. Let me say this one more time, Betty. Queen said, you don't know the difference between smoking and selling, and you go, boom. Well, let me go ahead and break something down for you, Betty. You know what you have in common in all of those domestic violences that are on your record that are actually you, that are not fake, that are there, unlike Queen Bee? The fact that you had cocaine in your pocket for almost all of them, and the fact that in several of them you admitted to the cops that you have an addiction to crack cocaine, and that you have been using it for the majority of your adult life. These are things that you admitted to the police when they were arresting you, when they found the literal drugs in your pocket. What was it? I think they found a, a scale as well. They may have. I have read Betty's records, unfortunately, I had to, because Betty said that they were fake, so I was going to help Betty and debunk those records. But BHP up, bum, no. You found it? No! Cherie, if this is true, I will fly to Australia and take you out to dinner. Let's hear it. So because of You're that- You're always angry. You I, I will owe you, Cherie, so you will always be able to hold this over my head. You can violently attack me? It was infamous? Infamous. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. Every creator in this entire community, every single one will say the same thing. The clip channels are amazing. They, they are the most dedicated, real YouTubers, good YouTubers in this community. I don't know if Infamous found it or Cherie. Somebody tell me who I can thank for this. Um, but uh, powder has adverse effects on Betty. It makes her drawers fall off whilst running up the road. Julie, that's so true. Because there's also something else that was in common with your arrests. And that's because you had no pants on several of them. And were cracked out of your mind. So it's just, you don't even know what Queen... Look, all of us have done drugs. I think a lot of us have done drugs and that's a sad thing, but yep. it's, it's a product of our society. I could walk out and I'm talking about 30 years ago, walk out of my house and I was guaranteed to find a group of people, a friend group that I could hang out with and I wouldn't even have to buy the shit because back then it was this atmosphere of partying and everybody getting to know each other and chilling and going to concerts and i could just go to a freaking fish concert or a, a rancid concert and it would just be drugs galore i wouldn't have to pay for any of them um let me tell you this story one time we went to a concert in columbus ohio one of my friends we we were camping there because it was like a three-day event we get in there we set up this little we have one tent for like 10 people like five dudes and five girls we get in there we get in the tent we're all looking at each other like damn what are we gonna do and there's like thousands of people around us Best music ever. Yes, a lot of bluegrass. I saw the best banjo player I've ever seen in my whole life. It's what inspired me to play banjo. I wish I knew his name because I would tell you guys you'd listen to his music and lose your mind. He played a banjo like it was an electric guitar and it was crazy. Though, we found, not me, but our friend group found an entire bag of ecstasy tablets while we were going in. And we'd never messed with it. We didn't know what to do. We didn't even know what they were at first. So we're in the tent, and I'm not going to say who, but one of the girls pulled it out. So it turns out one interaction that she had there, and it paid for the next, like, six concerts we went to, okay? Turns out those things are worth yeah. a lot of money. But here's my point. I could tell you a million stories back when I was a teenager. 
back when I wasn't even an adult where I'm like going into parties, I'm going places where I can just buy a ticket and go and we are all inundated with drugs. I think the majority of us that are here have gotten over drugs or, or you know, some of us just smoke weed or something or whatever, but you're probably going to find at least half of the audience base has used drugs, if not way more. What, 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 what do you think it would be, Nick? The percentage of people in the audience that have used a drug in their life, like you want me to do a poll? I think seventy uh, percent. I would. I would say seventy. I'm gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna do sixty. So vote yes if you've done it even one time. Okay. Now you don't have to vote if you don't want. Vote no if you've never. Vote yes if you have. I just want to know just for shits and giggles. Okay. But here's my point. Of course, I'm making a point. Like yeah. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So here's my point, though, Betty. I don't put you down, Betty, or your drug addiction or anyone else out there unless you're actively in it. No, not even if you're actively in it because I'm, I'm going to overwhelmingly motivate you wherever I can to get help, which is not putting you down. I understand that in our society, I don't know what happened. I don't know why it's like this, but it's one of the biggest challenges that people face if they're going to be social, if they're going to leave their home. They're going to experience this. That's my experience where I live. And I mean in like a 10 state radius. <laughs> um, it's just an epidemic. It's, it's a literal epidemic if you look at what's going on out there. So trying to say that Queen B saying, what, what was Queen B's response? It was, oh, anyway, I'm rambling. Let's see. Okay, you, Nick, you, Nick got it. It was about 77%, dude. You were right on the money, bro. Holy shit. I am. Nick... Nick gets the cookie emojis for that one, y'all. Give him some cookie emojis. <laughs> People actually think that they can tell you what you can do. Don't even know you. Never. I want you, and I always do this while we're reacting to a video. So the theme of today's video, I need to have a little Mr. Rogers thing that, before we react to a video where it's like, the theme of this video, or like a little puppet, like a little Muppet Elmo. The theme of this video is... Ask yourself just how triggered this woman is over somebody criticizing her. Okay? So I want yeah. you to just focus on how triggered she is. Go ahead, Nick. I'm sorry, bro. Hold on, I'm laughing. Smoking weed doesn't count. It's a national pastime. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'm look. I don't even do weed anymore. I just take CBD. I have. I I was okay. And this is again when I was before I was 18. I would smoke that shit like it was going out of style. I loved that shit back then. Oh my heavens! Nowadays I'm an old man. Yeah, I I wish I could smoke right now. Everyone around me can smoke, but if I do it, I get. It's like I'm like too much. I was like, I do it one time. It's too much. It's too much. And this is years ago. I'm such a lightweight. I am such a freaking lightweight. I met you in their life, and they think that they can come here and tell you what you can and can't do. Oh, my God. I know. I didn't even think about it. This woman. You've never met me, but you think you can tell me what I can and can't do. Three seconds later. This is what you can and can't do. You must face us. Sounds like you're telling someone that you don't know what to do there, hypocrite. The problem with me is, yeah, I may, I may get a little emotional. A little? I, I don't lie, little Betty. But I don't go over the edge. You're, you're coming to reprimand us. The one oh my God, this is so cringy. This is why I think they could be the cringe lords of YouTube. Now, Molly, ignore her, please. Molly gets a couple days off around here. Just look at Betty. I want you to look at her body language because it's the it's so funny. Doing this because you don't do your fucking jobs. And your jobs. Oh, I'm so tough. I just said that out loud. Everybody's looking at me. I'm big and bad, baby. Mm, yeah. Look, look. I'm walking backwards. That's how cool I am. Yeah, but come back to. <laughs> I am so cool because I walked backwards after I yelled at you and told you what to do. Other adult that I don't know at all. Ah, uh, no, this was cool. This is not photoshopped and it has been confirmed through MetaTab. So you could take this and shove it slap up your ass. 
slap up yo ass. Notice how she's never said slap up your ass since we played that clip. Slap up your ass. Yep. We played the clip of her admitting to losing kids over smacking them up the ass. And I sat here going, Betty, what does slap up the ass mean, Betty? Like, that's not a good thing to say to people. Up the ass. Slap up the ass. Don't put the word slap before up the ass. What do you do in your spare time? Whose ass you be slapping up? Her ass. You're talking about it. You have no place on, on, on YouTube with all your lies and your thumper. Poor thing. Oh my god, you poor thing. You just moved backwards again. You can tell every tiny detail about how she's acting and how she's trying to portray herself is a literal memorized act. It is a memorized. It's not a, it's not a natural behavior that she's executing by choice in her brain. This is a memorized play. It's a, it's fake. They are upset. Be your toast, buddy. BHB's infamous clip. <laughs> About that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's harass. Oh, no. Is this just... Oh, no. This might not be the clip I need, but it's still funny. I just got hit with the realization. I've watched this before. I've seen this one. I don't think she... I think she does the slap up the ass, but she doesn't talk about the kids being taken away in this one. That's the police. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. Oh, I love those filters so much. I love those filters so much. I could watch those filters all day. YouTube can be a wonderful place for information, but there's... Really? Can it now? I don't think it can, Betty. Demon rats on here. And then... Those demon rats, they are so demonic and they're so rat-like. But there's demon rats on here. And those demon rats need to be exterminated. You know what I'm saying? They just need to be off YouTube. See oh, how... God. See how much impact a tiny little arrow gives a video. It's just gorgeous. They literally provide no benefit. <laughs> uh, they can't. Won't you be my? Can't even baby. spell tragedy. You know what I'm saying? Now you've done this. Now, nobody. We misspell things so that the YouTube uh, algorithm doesn't pick up on it. I, I, you haven't learned this trick yet, but that's why we do that. Do you really like the word tragedy? is picked up on by the algorithm, you'll get an automatic yellow sign. We misspell words on purpose. Oh, she's pissed. My God. Now yeah. you're probably going to get the ugly part of this sock. So I hope you got your, but I'm telling you, don't, you, know, you better tell your law enforcement officers they better not fucking touch you. Okay? Police chief, mayor. She's bullhorn, Betty, back. damn it. You don't fucking lay a hand on me. You come after me with this nonsense you did with them, you're going to have problems. You're going to have bigger problems than you know what to do with. I can tell you that. That's a threat. That's a threat. It won't be as big you're as a 20 month old you being in a landfill an and you're not arresting threat. a murderer mother, but it damn sure will be something pretty damn close. We got this crotchety man over here. Thinks he's going to tell us to shut up. <laughs> Ain't it? Oh, dude, I don't know if it's in this one. Shit. Wait. Oh my god, is that it? Screw DCF. Screw whoever it is. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Woo! Woo! That's it. This is it. This is it! Because I... Some people in live chats, not the creators, but some people have been telling me I lied on Betty. Did I lie on Betty? Did she get kids taken away for smacking them up the ass? I think this is it. it is. Screw them. They took my kids for- Holy for, shit. For CPS took your kids. Popping them on the ass. Bam. They took her kids. I need to give this to Queen Bee. I'm going to put it on my community tab. Just because I'd like Queen Bee to do me a favor. Can you play? You don't have to play this whole thing. But when you go live, do me a solid. Because there was a couple people that calling me a liar in that chat. And I'm not mad at them. You know? Okay. I don't think- I think they just don't know that this is an actual clip and that it's real. So yeah, I would call me out too if I thought it didn't exist. Because I agree, we should never lie on them. They shouldn't lie on us, no one should lie on anybody, and that's something we all should correct because it's all we can do here on YouTube. We can't necessarily go around like knocking on doors and stuff. You can't dox people. You can't get invested that way. But what you can do is correct a lie, show the truth, and it'll eradicate the lies that are out there. Anyway, though, so yes, I, I, I'm not mad at those at anyone, but I'm going to put this on yep. my community I've tab. Seen this before, so I'm, surprised, I'm surprised people 
Yeah, I'm surprised people in the chat haven't. Uh, some people haven't seen this because a lot of people knew about this. Well, I, I, it's, it's see. I think this is one of the only videos that had it in there, and it was at the end. So I think that's why, like, because I don't think a lot of clip channels grabbed it. I think clip channels should oh, grab yeah. it. Maybe they will now. She doesn't have the disability clip, cheesy. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, I don't know if it was disability. Again, uh, Betty was stating that she had some form of government assistance. I and and I know people said that it was a disability. But I've never seen that clip myself. But I will. Is you know when we we know what it is, I'll update. But hold on, real quick. So. I'm going to tag Queen real quick. Queen, will you please play the end of this vid for me? Thanks. No rush, but I appreciate it. Now, Queen doesn't have to. I'm just asking if she will. Of course, I'm not going to get mad if she won't. I think it'd be a great clip for Queen to play. Blast in right up Betty's... Right, wait, wait, not up. Right in Betty's ass. I don't like saying that out loud. <laughs> but, you know, with... With Betty lying on her so much, it's like they want to act like <laughs> it, every little thing that Queen says, they dissect it. And even when Queen doesn't say that she's done drugs or something, like in that last clip, um, Betty will try to pretend like Queen. Oh, boom! Or whatever Betty said, right? This is a boom, yeah. Betty. This is a real boom. When you boomed on Queen B, there wasn't no boom. This one's a boom, Betty. Let's take a listen. Oh, DCF, screw whoever it is. Screw them. Yeah, screw those agencies that do nothing but help abuse kids. Screw them. They took my kids for... Holy for, shit. For not CPS took your kids? Popping them on the ass. What right? the fuck, and Betty? this lady can beat her children. It's... Oh, hold on. Someone is saying that the clip is taken out of context. Seems you do too, oh. Miss Betty. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. We will pursue the originator of this clip, but... Abuse them for... 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 years? And have no consequence. Oh, we got I am not the Okay, let me hear it again. How was that, so that out I, of context? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it could be, but but I do want to make sure if I would check for anybody, even Molly, even Betty. So let's hear it again and we'll see if we can because she says straight up, they took my kids just for popping them on the ass. Now maybe she was putting herself in someone else's shoes. I guess it could be. Maybe. Uh well, we'll have to figure it out, and we will. But let's hear it again. Screw DCF. Screw whoever it is. Screw them. They took my kids for... Holy for, shit. For not CPS took your kids? Popping them on the ass. What right? the fuck, Betty? And this lady can beat her children. So, okay, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it can be taken out of context, because she said... You gotta really hear it. She said, they took my kids because I popped them on the ass. Yeah. This this lady over here, she's talking about another lady, and she's saying, this lady over here can beat her kids, and they don't get taken. So uh, maybe, I mean, I could see maybe in a very rare instance it yeah, could be. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Well, we'll have to, what, was it clip? This, yeah, of course. This is, of course. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Burt Toast is here, and Burt Toast knows this shit. Hi, Toasty. I am blessed with burnt toast in my chat. I can't believe it. Her stepkids were already grown when she married her now ex-husband. Not sure what she's talking about here. Oh, okay. So I think it does warrant a fact checking, right? Because I'm sure this video is still on it's Betty's so channel. Weird. Yeah, it is strange, isn't it? It's very strange. But Why but then again, listen, that, right? Like what, what? listen, this could be something that happened to her when she was much younger too. Like much younger, like maybe Betty was like in her twenties or a twenty or something, living with someone else, and something like that happened. It would be hard. It, I, I, what I'm saying is, yes, she had a boyfriend. Yes, she had stepkids. They were in her twenties. We just don't know if, like, in her like earlier in her life, something could have happened, and she could be referring to it. Possibility. Not saying it is or isn't true. I'm just saying, you know, did her ex-husband have kids? I, I, that's the thing. I don't know anything about Betty. I don't look that far into things. I, now, if because I haven't had to, I would if I needed to as part of a story. Of course I would, right? I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying I haven't had to cover Betty All to right. that degree. We will figure it out, though. Constance we will go. And, says, yeah. Uh, she says she said she uh, talked to people who said they took my kids for popping them on the ass. Oh. Well, she talked to somebody. So that that's. Said that. Okay, so hold on. Let's listen to it one more time, and we'll see if it makes sense that way. Because if it does make sense that way, there's only one way to know, and we will figure it out later. Here we go. DCF, screw whoever it is. 
screw them. They took my kids for. Oh. Okay, so there is a cut there. I'm not saying it's a dubious a cut. cut. I don't think the cut's dubious because I think that this this thing, this clip that's pulled, would have the statement would have had to have been before that cut. It would have had to have been before the very beginning of the video. But according to people that know way more than I do, so what, what we'll do is we're not going to make a judgment of her on this clip until we have more information, right? In today's stream, she said she hit her stepchildren, says Amy M. Constance says, I talked to people who said it is cut off. Well, see, we're getting conflicting reports. So what we'll do is, you know how easy this will be? This will be super easy to figure out because she's in a hotel. That's how we end up finding clips a lot easier. So here's how you find a clip. A lot of people think that you're just going to go watch everything she's ever done. No way. Here's what you do. You go right here and you show transcript, right? So what we'll do is we'll just look through her lives and we'll find a live where she's in this kind of scenario. And maybe she did three or four or five videos from this scenario. So we hit, we go into here, we hit control F and then we type kids. And then it'll take us right to where it any where there there is a mention of kids in this video, which is at CPS took your kids, popping them on the ass. It'll just take you to the transcript, right? So we can find clips very quickly using this method. A lot of people believe clip channels or myself or my peeps will go in and watch everything. You don't have to. You need to find what's relevant and what's there. And of course, we do watch an enormous amount anyway. But my point is, if you need to find a clip. It can be found quickly. So hopefully by tomorrow, we'll Ooh. have the full stream and we'll actually Whisper. listen to it. We got whispers in the chat. She said uh, uh, she was talking about Dolly having his kids taken. And that's Whispers video, I believe. I, I know, but we've already like had the, we've had like three or four people say one thing. And one person said today she admitted kids were taken from her. And now we're, so we'll get to the bottom of it. We will, we'll fact check it. We fact check. Yeah. Reg I've always said we'll fact check regardless of who it is. Uh, always, and we'll always be truthful with the people we cover. So maybe we can clear Betty of this. Maybe we'll find out that it is true. Either way, we'll get it done. We will get it done. But we solved the mystery. So this is why I've said this about Betty, okay? This is why, because I didn't know that this was cut out of context. Now, I also will shout out Forgotten Whispers, the, the channel that this comes from. Forgotten Whispers, I would never believe. I've seen so many clips, and Forgotten Whispers gives all kinds of context. Forgotten Whispers isn't a bad clip channel at all. She was not talking about Dolly. Someone else said, see, the only way to solve this is just for us to find the original clip. We'll solve it easily yeah, that way. We'll yeah. get it for you. Um, but, but again, I'm defending Forgotten Whispers because this is the only time ever that we've ever had to even analyze a clip from any clip channel and it's possible that forgotten whispers got this clip from someone else and that it was already cut and, and, and yada yada we will solve the mystery but i just wanted to make sure people knew i didn't make that up about betty i would never do that to betty because i don't want to make things up about anybody it doesn't serve my videos remember i'm live streaming here because eventually, even if it's six months from now or if it's two days from now, I want to make a video that summarizes or many videos that summarize the the trip we've taken down the days of our live streams, right? So it does not serve me um, to make anything up about Betty or Molly or anyone or Letitia or Dre. And that's why I always say uh, we have to be on the side in every situation we we just have to be on the side of truth regardless if we like a person or not or whatever so that's just obvious though well the the, the big news though is we've been going for three hours i need to get off here because i've gone for too long forgotten whispers is trying to find it good and i knew she would thank you forgotten whispers let me know what happens okay and you can tag me on your community tab or hit me up with the mods or whatever you want to do okay and we we'll get this right we'll get this solved so but I'm sorry. I'm still like, I'll, I'll say, here's what I want to know. Ooh, this will be good. I want to know how convinced you are. Are you on the side that Betty meant that? Or are you on the side that Betty was taken out of context? I think I'm still kind of over here. Just a little. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the middle, but I'm leaning towards she actually said it. Ah, it I just think it's the verbiage of it. Yeah, you know I, mean? I think I'm 60-40. 
Me too. I'm 60 40 that the, she said it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Okay. Hell of a day. The thing that matters here for this stream. Yes. Let's get it. Let's bring it back to the point in the beginning. Oh, did I miss a super chat? Oh, I did. Wicked says the only thing they're proving is that you. Oh, nope. I read that. Good, good, good. Um, the, the, oh, and let me share my pay links and stuff so I don't forget. If you want to support me, I'm going to put it in the chat. It's paypal.me forward slash unirock and money sign unirock on Cash App. It's all optional, as you know. Join the channel, super chat. Either way, if you want to support what we do, um, Queen B does not deserve to be doxxed. Nobody does. Queen B should be allowed, just like you or anyone else, should be allowed to make a YouTube channel, get on that channel, and speak their opinion in their mind without some freak like JLR or Betty. JLR, someone who talks to dolls and admires uh, people that murder kids. That's a fact. It's in the news media. Okay, search him yourself. Educate yourself on JLR. And hopefully people can come together and cover this maniac because he is back and he's worse than he ever damn was. Um, but ev these motherfuckers talk about free speech all the time. They don't believe in free speech. Free speech is not yeah. what they're pretending that it is. You know, what's your final thoughts, Nick? What do you got, buddy? Free speech is not doc. Well, this is my fault. Free speech is not doxing. Betty, exactly. JLR, okay? Free speech is what we're doing here on, on Queen Bees, Jones, and, you know, I can go on and on and on. But what you guys are doing is harmful. You can hurt somebody, seriously hurt somebody. And you guys need a reality check. Take a long look in the mirror and say, is this what you want to do with your life? That's Definitely. It. Does Jonesen have open panels sometimes? Yeah, she she's actually on? got one right now. That's where you just, where you just said that. She just started her, her uh, stream. She's doing a, uh, a giveaway today, yep. Yeah. Make sure you guys roll over to Jonesen's channel. Mod, share Jonesen's link in my chat while we're rolling out. Nick, thanks, buddy. I'm going to try to stop over to Jonesen's. Not tonight, because i got a bunch of stuff to do, but I will here next weekend or something. Right, that, brother. Thank you for having me on. Anytime, buddy. All right. Later. Yes, I agree with Nick in his final determination that, you know, as I was trying to say, you should be able to make a channel about whatever you want and come up here, talk about a video game. Talk about tragedy pimping. Talk about politics, even though I would never touch it with a 10-foot pole but due to how insanely divisive it is now. Um, but my point in the end, though, is why is it that they think that just because Queen B talks about what they're publicly doing, that they somehow have a right, as you heard, Dolly Vision, JLR, and Ma uh, Betty all say that there is some... Um, there's a green light. They have a green light to go after a person. It's ironic that they tend to pick, they, they tend to not go after certain people, but then they'll go after others. It's very strange. Um, but they, they have a green light once something happens and then they can go in docks and they don't even have to be, if, if they can't fact check, or how about if they're going to say something about Queen B and Queen B's record before they say it to make sure it's true? Or how about JLR not go to Facebook and impersonate a um, crime watch for a, for a town and act like in that crime watch they're looking for Queen B because of some YouTube thing like the idiot he is? Um, what is the trigger? To give them the green light that I just mentioned. Everybody saw it in this stream. This stream is is a showing of the, the weak cowardice, the weak-mindedness, the inability to respond with words, the inability to be professional, to be business-like, any of these things. In fact, the inability just to be nice, to be have any manners, to have any etiquette. Or how about with Dolly? I mean, they, you know, the inability to... Um, Stop pestering his cousin, who's also his third brother from his second aunt's um, third marriage, and actually talk on YouTube in some kind of sane way with an opinion. And then let your words and your response be the thing that judges whether the people hearing you choose you based on 
how how truthful, honest, funny, and good you are in your response, or them when they respond. And because they always go to doxing, and because Dolly always goes to taking the tire, left back right tire off of his truck and trying to roll it and say, go get it, go get it, little feller, to his dog and hoping that his dog will fetch the tire and he'll be able to call his, his third uncle's brother that's actually also his cousin and say, hey, did my dog fetch the tire again, Bobby? Sue Jane Leroy? Um, why not go back and forth with actual commentary? Skipping to the doxing will make the back and forth non-existent and they'll only be judged badly we have to take the power away from them the power that they have in doxing is they think that someone is going to lose support the go away disappear so what we do when they dox somebody like queen bee we support the living hell out of her we share every video we like every video we leave comments we blow up the live chat we support the living hell every single time that queen bee goes live to show them we will amplify her voice we will amplify the channel the next person you dox the next person you go after it'll be 20 times as big and we need to get every one of us all of the people in this community need to think this way and the creators in this community need to take what they're doing to queen bee and historialize it they need to Make sure that it's there forever in videos so that they never get away from this and they can never lie from this. That's their power. Not just doxing, intimidation, but also a month from now, they're going to say that they didn't do it. A year from now, they're going to say they didn't do it. And I can prove that. I've shown where all of them, when they've doxed people in the past, if you bring it up, they're going to tell you, I didn't do that. It didn't happen. So they already know it's bad. That's the only way to fix this because team YouTube won't help if Queen B being doxxed the way that Queen B was just doxxed with in, with threats intimidation fake accounts every single tactic that they always use if YouTube won't step in and do something about this they're never going to you don't get a more extreme doxing than what they've done to Queen B it's a fact you got to show them up we have to win this one I don't ever ask you guys to donate I'll suggest it I don't ever ask, I don't ever tell you that you have to support the living hell out of me, but I am going to tell you to please not just support the hell out of Queen Bee, share the hell out of her, and blow up that content. Because the minute you do, Betty's going to cry. She's going to go outside and start running around looking for something to choke. JLR is going to make 16 different dolls and put different faces on them of all these different murderers and serial killers. And he's going to cry on their shoulders and ask them to, to soothe his pain. And of course, Dolly is going to go fishing with his brother that's actually his cousin and his third nephew. While crying and telling them what happened. I'm Unirock. <laughs> Uh, my links are in the chat. Thank you. I love you. You guys are awesome. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be even funnier then. I've got a whole new bit for tomorrow. I hope to see you there. I'm out. Audi 5000 G. Peace. <laughs>
out of my lane, out of my lane, out of my lane, out of my lane, get out of my lane, get out of my lane, my uncle is my dad. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, that poor guy. Poor old guy. Poor old 